Hey guys, what's going on? FY My Pawn here, and welcome to Divinity Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition specifically. This is going to be our first playthrough of Divinity Original Sin, and I will state that I have played Divinity Original Sin 2. I have not in my life played Divinity Original Sin. Or at least the first game, I should say. So at the very least, I know what mechanics I should expect. I'm just not sure what I'm going to experience through the story. I'm going to be doing a blind playthrough. I'm going to be very thorough in my searching and problem solving. And if I get stuck in some places, I will utilize a guide, worst case scenario. But otherwise, I'm just going to go this blind and try and play a skeletal necromancer. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's just get into things and see what happens, because we got quite a bit to do. Alright, new game, single player, let's see. We're not going to be doing exploration mode, classic mode, nah. Hmm. Okay, so there's four difficulty modes... Jeez. I could go honor mode, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think it might be better if I, uh... For now, we'll go with classic mode, and if I do ever come back to Divinity Original Sin, then I'll do a tactician mode run, or an honor mode run. But I'm going to go classic mode. I don't want to make this too hard on myself, after all. And if it's a bit too easy, I'll change it up. It really depends, because I'm still winging it at this point, so yeah. Let's begin. Alright. Oh, we get two characters to choose from, I see. Alright, we're gonna have Steve. And we're gonna customize him to be... No AI, obviously. Uh, let's see. Okay, interesting. Can I not change their race? Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I might be able to. I don't know. It's hard to say. Alright, well, I'll have the main character here be Steve. And we're going to, I guess, customize? Let's see. What is there? Fighter, Inquisitor... I think the closest thing is Wizard. But we'll customize it specifically. Alright, let's take out Geomancer and Pyrokinetic. We'll take out Personality for now. And Lore Master. Uh, talents, we'll get rid of those. Alright, now let's start from the f as fresh as we possibly can. There we go. Alright. Let's remove Boulder Bash, let us remove Midnight Oil, and of course Flare. As for what we're going to learn, let's see. Alright, we've got Pyrokinetic, Hydro Fist, Arrow Fierge, Eurmancer, I guess Witchcraft is the closest. Uh, there is special versions, like the Staff of Magnus. Oh, so there is actually no Necromancy stuff. Interesting. Okay, that puts a hamper on what I wanted to do, but I guess we'll live with it? Let's see, what is there? There's special... Maldiction. I guess the closest thing is, like, witchcraft here? Alright, let's see. Heal yourself with the life force of someone else. Damages them for 9 to 10 damage, piercing version. Okay. 
Recommended Witchcraft 1. Alright, Oath of Destruction. Bestows a damage boost on an ally. Maldiction is a curse. Okay, here we go. Summon Spider. I guess Geomancer is like summoning a little bit. Let's see. Uh, there's skills. Hold on, I need to check something. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just winging it, to be honest, so that's why I'm just trying to figure out what things are, essentially, so. Yeah. <laughs> One second. Okay, interesting. Ah, I see, okay. Yeah, so I am right, in essentially. So we, we just need to focus on witchcraft if we wish to uh, summon undead. Which I had a feeling was the case, I just wasn't entirely certain. But I digress. Uh, range 3, range 15, range 15. So preferably we want long range buffs instead of going melee. This of course will help heal, but I don't think we need that just yet. Rather we should focus on actual healing if we're going to do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, launch a magical missile from your staff. Staff of Magnus. Uh, let's see. Oath of Desecration. Uh, bestow a damage boost on the ally. 70% chance to set Oath of Desecration for three turns. 100%, 30% for low intelligence. Uh, damage of the target increases by 40%. Uh, malediction, curses... Cursed lowers a target's chance to hit by 30. Weak lowers a target's damage by 50. Okay. So basically this reduces the chance to hit somebody. And this will increase the damage of a, a target. We're going to grab Oath of Des Desecration as our first ability. And for the sake of it, we're going to combine... I think we're going to combine... Uh, Geomancy and Pyromancy. I think that would be the best. That way we can start casting things like uh, Midnight Oil, which will create an oily surface. And we'll get Pyromancy later on, which can ignite that oil. For now though, I think we're going to grab Summon Spider as part of the Geomancy set. Do we grab Bless? I think we grab Bless as well. So that way we can uh, actually focus on buffing to increase damage and attack of our second character. And we'll get Summon Spider as a utility spell. As for our skills, we are going to focus into Witchcraft. That will give us a, a big boost in Witchcraft. Alright. Then we'll get Geomancer, so we can cast Summon Spider and Bless. Alright, so that's two skills. And because we are going for the character here, we're going to focus in on Lucky Charm would be nice, I guess. Uh, Lucky Charm determines your luck in finding extra treasure and improves your offense rating. Uh, leadership will give a boost to party members and friends that can see you. Charisma determines first impressions. 
Okay. So I think we go with leadership and charisma. Uh, do we go with crafting or something? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Defenses... But well, we're not going to go into melee, and we're not going to be using... Well, I guess we could use a wand, I suppose. Hmm. But we're going to be using spells more than attacks, aren't we? So let's abstain from weapons. Uh, nasty deeds we're not going to be using. Uh, let's see. I'll grab Lore Master to start with, then. That way we get as much points as poss possible. Alright, zombie lets you heal from poison, if it causes damage from regular healing. Uh, what a rush, walk it off. Well, I do believe I wanted to go po- er, a zom- I, I guess I wanted to go zombie build, so there is that. Although that does lead to the question of whether I can, uh, get a poison spell. If I can, that makes things a lot better. Uh, arrow Thurge, Regeneration, Rain, no, no. Uh, Tree Poisoning, no. If I could use a Poison spell, that'd be really nice. I assume it's part of the Geomancer set, if you can cast Poison, but let me check to be sure. Ah, yes. Okay, so, yeah, no, if I focus into the Geomancer abilities as well, then I will be able to get Poison, which is a good heal for Undead. So we're gonna go Zombie for one of our traits. And let's see. I think there's a special ability that we can grab that helps us even better, but I'm not 100%. Here we go, Lone Wolf. A character with the Lone Wolf can no longer have a companion, but receives a 70% bonus to base vitality, plus 2 bonus to turn action points, and maximum action points and extra ability points on level up. So if we want to go alone, which I think I'm going to do, but we're going to make this unique. We'll go Lone Wolf Zombie. Why not? Uh, let's see. We, we just can't have companions, but we'll basically be fine. As for our attributes, beyond that, I think we are going to grab what? Let's see. Speed effects, movement speed, and initiative. Perception effects, critical chance, initiative. Alright, constitution gives us more action points. Uh, let's see. How... Uh, let's see, we get plus 70% base vitality and two extra turn action points. So if we get a point into constitution, we're basically going to have eight turn actions instead. Oh wait, hold on. We get uh, two bonus to turn action points and maximum action points is increased. No wait, hold on. Oh, it's increased by two, okay. So instead of, uh, instead of, uh, well, we'll have to see once we get into game, I guess. I guess we will increase our intelligence, because that is going to help our witchcraft and whatnot. Uh, do we want to increase it to max? I don't think we do. We'll get to seven. Uh, dexterity, we don't need. Strength, we don't need. Uh... Speed uh, determines how many action points, and Constitution determines our maximum. So we're going to get one into Constitution and Speed, so that way we get an additional point in both. And Perception improves Critical Chance. It also determines the ability to detect traps, which is going to be nice, so we'll, we'll get that. It's just a few additional buffers, but we don't need Strength and uh, Dexterity. That is a... Uh, a definite truth. Alright. So we got the Lone Wolf Zombie. Uh, 
All right, no AI for AI personality. What could that have done? What could that have done? There must be a way to spring this hmm. trap safely. I may have a blade or two that I may have a blade or two that could use a honing. As for what skin type we go, we'll go with Let's go pure ivory just to uh, represent the undead aspect. We'll give him a nice, bushy old mustache. And you know what? Let's go with the afro. I like that. <laughs> ah, cotton. <laughs> Steve is going to be a cotton-haired man, I guess. Alright. Ah, the underwear. <laughs> You know what? I like this. The boxers are working. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Alright, Steve is set up. And I guess for Scarlet... Going to make it a man. We'll make him look like a fighter. And he will be our zombie, strictly for offense. Alright, let's see. So talents, we'll get rid of these. So zombie. I need to figure out how Lone Wolf works, just to figure it out. Okay, um, you get no companion, but you gain 70% bonus to base vitality, 2 to turn actions, 1 to extra ability points. Pick Lone Wolf on characters that need to tank up, or will be a hybrid class, or both. Okay, uh, alternatively I can go with Glass Cannon. If I so desire. And I think... I think I might go that. Uh, once I've dealt with this. Uh, let's see, what does Glass Cannon do for me? Uh, requires level 5. Gives 4 extra recovery action points, but your total vitality is decreased by 50%. Okay, so basically you sacrifice HP in favor of a, a companion. Well, I guess I'll give this to our... Uh, character here instead and uh, I'll just keep our uh, Steve the necromancer ready for another character who will benefit from it most likely as for how we're going to address this character in particular let's see all right we're not going to be using shields I'd say that would be uh, something we don't do. But we're definitely going to get Armor Specialist. Uh, we do suffer a movement penalty, though, it seems. Well, that's fine. Reduce the chance to receive a status by 15%. That's fine. Uh, let us also get Willpower, I guess. Yeah, just focus in on the weapons for now. Or defenses, rather. Alright, as for abilities, going to remove those. Oh, do we actually need, like, a, a weapon ability to actually use mana arms? Uh, we need, uh... Yeah, we, we need to focus into something, I think. Yeah, we need the Man at Arms ability if we wish to get Man at Arms abilities. Okay. Alright, Man at Arms. Let's grab one. So that way we can start selecting abilities here. Alright, Melee Power Stance. We'll get that. We will also get 
Entourage? Entourage boosts targets strength, dexterity, intelligence, and constitution stats by one. So it's basically a buff. Melee power stance is a good buff. Uh, let's see. Uh, we should probably grab the Cure Wounds ability. So that way we can heal. And we will grab the... I guess we grab the Battering Ram to get an Initiator. So go with that build. And we got one more point left, it seems. Enough to... Okay. Hmm. How do we do this? I guess we focus into dual wielding? Uh, sets dual wielding damage penalty to minus 20% and reduces cost of attacking by 1 AP. Either that or we go single handed or two handed. Hmm. Gives 10% critical chance boost and sets base critical strike multiplier to 220 if we go two handed. Let's go with dual wielding. It's an odd build, but we'll go with the dual wielding tank. Why not? <laughs> See how that works. I guess alternatively we go with the shield specialist. Give a 5% blocking boost to shields. You know what? Let's just focus on the defense. Why not? As for his abilities... Let's give 1 to perception. 1 to speed and constitution. And I guess because we're focusing strength, yeah. We'll just boost our strength abilities by a bit. Alright. Let's go with the white skin. We'll keep the warrior voice, male. Let's go with the head 13. We'll go with the ball cuts. And let's just stick with head 11 instead. A very interesting hairstyle. Ah. Let's go with that. And jet black hair one. Well. Let's go with the grayish hair. And of course, the star underwear. Hmm. Let's go with that. Alright, that should do it. As for Steve, we might have to change him up a bit, but we should be fine. It's mainly the uh, lone wolf talent that I'm wondering if I should keep or not. Hmm. We won't get a companion, but receive a 70% bonus to base vitality, two bonus to turn action points. It's that base vitality that's really nice. Glass Cannon sacrifices that by uh, suffering a 50% uh, dis decrease. And it's fine. We'll, we'll go with we'll go with the Lone Wolf build. Why not? All right, Steve and. We'll go with Steve and Marcus. Why not? <laughs> the interesting duo. Yep, we're done with our characters. Let's do it. In the days of old, the sorcerers of Rivalong cured the sick and healed the wounded through a great power called Source. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy, and madness has overtaken them. A few brave source hunters are all that stand between Rivalon and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever source appears, hunters follow.
rise and shine, Master Sorsunters. The cam wants you up on deck. Hear them calls? Means we're close to shore. I don't ever you go in there, Master Sorsunters. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicil, nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off on the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. If we're to get justice for the Counselor, you'll have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, Source Hunters. That's an interesting story. Alright. So we're helping to hunt the counselor, it seems. Alright. Alright, so we focus on the main character. We do have a selection screen on who focuses, but we can just basically swap in. Alright, if we hold the middle mouse button, we can uh, look around, so it's very much like the other game. I will be turning down the music because it is a bit loud. So one second. I'm just not found. I'm just not a fan of loud music, to be honest. All right, there we go. That should be fine. And of course, we've got our abilities. We got oath of desecration, bless, summon spider, and we can swap to uh, hot bars to uh, cover up other things. All right, let's open our inventory and let's get organized a bit. All right, let's move these here. All right, uh, tab appears to be uh, changing from combat screen to, or combat to something else. Let's move these back in. All right. Let's see, let's read the orders. Source Hunters, your orders are to investigate the recent murder of the Counselor, Jake, and inspect the city of Sicil for evidence of source magic. Your liaison in Sicil will be a, wiz a wizard called Arhu, who is anxiously awaiting your arrival. Due to the nature of your mission, we've put at your disposal some of the most powerful spells and magics known to the Order, but treat them with caution and tread with care. Scrolls such as these are very rare. We advise you not to blow through your entire arsenal at once. Good luck. Godspeed. Signed, Captain Wartress. Alright, a brief history. We won't be going over what that is. But we will uh, go over everything else. Let's see. Talents, yeah, pretty obvious, okay. So to give you a rough idea, we basically are running Lone Wolf, so these are gonna be the only two characters we have for this entire run. But otherwise, we're gonna be fine, I do believe. We do have Flea if we wish, but I don't think we're gonna be using it. For now, we're not going to be addressing like changes in our abilities. We're just going to focus on what we have currently. We will take off the Staff of Magnus for our melee user. And he is going to take points, I do believe. So let's just be careful. I don't think there's a way to see if there's items on the floor. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, let me check controls real quick. There might be a way to determine that. 
All right, uh, interact. Uh, no, no. Toggle equipment, toggle info, left control. All right, that's. And now I'll just... I'll just go back. Nothing but rubbish. Oh, we'll grab that. I didn't know there were orc ships raiding to the west. I'd mistake this for a placid beach. At least the orcs make a bit of noise when they attack. It's dark dealing sorcerers that'll strike with neither warning nor mercy. to have an entourage. All right. Let's see. What's what's it got? Traveler's journal. Read. Rejoice, for the statuses have granted my wish. Their whimsical nature, however, must not be taken lightly. So before I soar through the sky like an eagle, I shall attempt a mere hop from the cliffs down at the beach. This should be a small feat for the man that can fly. If this experimentation is successful, the student shall be my next target. Oh, I see. Well, that's uh, concerning. Can you believe this? The man jumped off a cliff at the behest of some statues of all things. Pure madness. How could somebody be so utterly naive? Your madness! How could someone be so utterly naive? <laughs> Agreed. Call me spe skeptical. <laughs> Agreed. Call me skeptical, but a little proof goes a long way for the rational mind. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, pragmatic. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, pragmatic. Crafting increased by one. Oh, fun! <laughs> interesting. So, dialogues like that get you special abilities. That's really interesting. Okay, cool. So, if we agree on something or disagree, then we're fine. Interesting. I guess M is map. Yep. So I... Nothing here. What about in this crate? Nothing. Alright. Uh, opening it, we've got a few items in here. All right, we've got cotton candy dye. I guess we can just put those in our inventory. Uh, we've got some cheese. We've got a painting of a landscape. We've got a love grenade. And we've got rift ooglers. Minus one charisma, 
plus one lucky charm. You lose some sight, hearing, and movement, but you do get immunity to blind. And it's a bit of armor bonus. I think we give this to Marcus. There you go, Marcus. Here, put this on. Oh! So, uh, Marcus. <laughs> I see you have grid vision. Well, considering I'm going to focus on our wizard, we should be fine. I guess we can see what those, uh, shells has done. I guess we can also check the, uh, Source Hunter backpack if we want. Alright, so for inventory's sake, we're gonna put the gold in here. Uh, it appears we got trunks. Hmm. Guess we put the trunks in there. Uh, Golden Grail. Hmm. I guess these are, like, very important items. Makes sense, after all. As for scrolls, we'll put them in here, I suppose. And I guess for the backpack, we're going to open this one and put in our shell collection, I suppose. As for what's in the... Or as for what they do, uh, let's consume. Uh, water resistance 5. And that goes for all shells. Interesting. Okay. We'll put the uh, source books here for now. Until we figure out what to do with them. I guess we'll put the orders on the corner here. As for the potion, I guess we put that here. And we'll put the Resurrect Scroll in. We'll leave the rest here. I guess we do have the Skull as well. But we'll worry about that later. Cotton... I can't... I don't know. Just a bunch of stuff. Uh, the cheese is a food stuff. Uh, let's see what it does. Uh, it hurts us a bit. It gives us a plus one to Constitution, minus one to Dexterity. But we do suffer 10% damage as a result. Which is not so good. We'll put the cheese away and we'll consider what to do with that later, but we're probably going to sell it. Oh, hello. How did they find us? Take the stone to the temple. These whelps will be easy to crush. As you say, Captain Conrad. Ah, I see. They're trying to run away. Arise, fair dead. Seize upon our enemies. Level 20 mysterious leader. Oh dear, that's not good. <laughs> ah, right, grid vision. <laughs> All right, if we use melee stance, then we'll increase damage, movement, and chance to hit is reduced. But that's fine. The damage is uh, more important. And we should be able to get away with... That. There we go. Then we can attack this dude for 13 damage. And I guess we end combat turn. All right, this is our hotbar, right, obviously. We're going to summon a spider here. There we go. And we'll move back a bit. And there we go, we got a spider on our turn. Uh, it's knockdown status effect. 
Because they're knocked down, they cannot move. Interesting. Uh, we can attack them for 5 AP, or we attack the Cursed Servant for 100, for 4 AP, which we're going to do twice to take him out. There we go. Alright, Marcus takes some damage, but that's fine. We should be able to take this dude out relatively easy. Ah, missed chance. Fun. Okay, Marcus failed, unfortunately. But it's probably the grid vision that's doing him in. Alright, let's move a bit closer here. Uh, let us bless Marcus. And we will increase his damage by an additional 40% for Marcus. There we go. And we can't do damage just yet, so we'll abstain from that. We will definitely use the Staff of Magnus, though, at some point. Ah, pain. Alright, because of the buffers, we are able to take out with a 95% chance against a Cursed Lieutenant. And now we can move up closer to deal with this spider, or the uh, undead here. We won't be able to go for the kill, though, so we just go Staff of Magnus. Boom. Done. Their leader said something about escaping with a stone. Stolen from this dungeon, I imagine. Can we get inside? Alistair? Those thieves were more than petty criminals. Their leader gave life to the dead. What stone could they have been so keen on taking? Hmm. We can't well turn away from such an odious show of source. Let's investigate the tomb and see what answers it might reveal. We can't well turn away from such an odious show of source. Let's investigate the tomb and see what answers it might reveal. Oh, I guess I don't need to talk for them, I guess. <laughs> Indeed. For all we know, these dark dealing thieves may be involved with Councillor Jake's murder. Independent. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got an aged robe. Interesting. Okay, so is that better than what we've got for Source Hunter gear? I think it actually is, so we're going to equip that instead of the Source Hunter robe. Get us uh, better gear, essentially. Here. Ah, right, I need the Pet Pal equip- er. So I won't be able to get it just yet, but I will probably get that for, uh, Mar That chest feels like an obvious trap. But I'm just going this to avoid it. To be well, let's see. Than the treasury. Yeah, we need uh, lock picking abilities for now, or later on. Coal baskets, huh? All right, what's in here then? All right, we got arrowheads. A uh, fuse. Alright, let's put these chests away. Like so. Just stack them up, why not? <laughs> Alright, got a water balloon. Got another chest. We'll just stack these up, casually. Uh, that's a fire arrow, nothing, and a knockdown arrow. Interesting. Someone must have an interest in protecting whatever's killed. Hmm. Well, we can drop a uh, barrel on it, I suppose. There we go. No harm, no foul. Nice. 
Well, that wasn't bad. Alright, let's just be careful of the flame, and then we're good. Got some skeleton piles. More cheese. <laughs> this seems to be broken. Oh, we picked up the chest. We don't want to do that. Uh, can we open it? Yep. And we got some bracers and empty potion bottles. Nice. Anything in the vase? Nope. Nope in there. We'll stick to the, uh... Left to figure out what was going on. This seems to be broken. I've always heard there's typically more to a king's tomb than meets the eye. It could be a myth, or it could be our lucky day. It's true. Uh, tomato. Okay, it's not here. Or vase, I suppose. Nothing here. Okay. Uh, let's see. We can't open it. So we have to pick the lock. Can we do it? That's the question. Unlocked. Perfect. More cloth, cloth bracer. Empty chest. We got a vase. More vases here. A mug of... Vases here. But nothing too crazy. Alright, let's see. What's our inventory looking like? We've got bracers here. Are they better than our old ones? They look to be, anyways. Uh, traveling bracers versus old ones. They have a little bit more durability to them. We should probably keep the Traveling Bracers sa for the sake of the Authority. Well, for the sake of having them, I suppose. I talked at a rat, but I can't. <laughs> Here, I guess there's... Well, what's this I've spotted? Oh. Here we go. Secrets. Secrets. <laughs> Alright, uh, we need to hold left short work of that door, but I don't imagine our weapons would survive such use for long. Uh, let us sa save our game. I'd prefer an actual save if I can help it. Ah, a new save. Here we go. There we go. The beginning of Steve and Marcus. The... Of wherever we are. <laughs> oh, we've got water barrels. Okay.
Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I can... Okay, not enough strength, it seems. I'll be able to attack this, though, so let's use the Staff of Magnus to do that. Okay, that's not enough. Oh, we did get Poison Flask, though. Alright, let's use the Staff of Magnus again to destroy the Water Barrel here. There we go. Clear out all that fire. So that way we can actually... Got some more fire-tipped arrows, nothing there, nothing here. Just checking to make sure. What about here? Empty potion vial. Okay, nothing there, nothing here, nothing in Well, poison flask and boss. So we got some healing methods anyways. what's going on here, but that's fine. We'll just figure it out as we go. Cheese. Perfect. Poison, so that's good. Oh. Green fishing rod. Uh, a simple rod suitable for saltwater fishing. Can we use it, though? Uh, requires strength, 6 meter range. But it is a strength-based weapon. Um, let's see if it works with Marcus. Is it better than his sword? Let me ask that. Uh, no, his training sword's way better. So we'll leave him with that, I suppose. Ah, poison. Try, and use, try using fire on poison surfaces. Well, we don't need fire to uh, bypass this because we are poison-based. So we actually heal from this, which is good. If we could, I'd grab a barrel of poison. We did manage to get the metal temple door key as a result, so that's not a bad thing for us. Uh, is there anything? Careful! I've spotted a trap. All right, let's put that there. Let's back off a bit. And let's trigger that. There we go. Oh. Nearly. Alright, actually, hold on. Oh. Now... I guess we can try and disarm it? Let's hope we can. I think we succeeded? I'm not sure if we did or not, though. Alright, let's uh, open to see if it's locked. Okay, we can't. Just yet. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Alright. Nope, we don't pick the lock. We open the lock. And we managed to get white fabric dye. Nice. What we got here? Nothing. Broken bars. Alright. Now we can just go through this door. More wooden crates. And a pan. <laughs> I'm tempted to use the pan, I'll be honest. Hold on. 
Uh, let's see. We will need a key bag, I'm thinking. But other than that, we should be fine. Yeah, we need, like, an actual bag for, like, keys and whatnot. But we'll be fine. Alright, this backpack will be used to carry food and con or crafting materials, I guess. Alright, let's... Put all these in here, I guess. For now. Uh, empty poison bottle. Interesting. Uh, no. I guess we'll leave the crafting ingredients for now. Potion vials will go somewhere else. We've got fabric dye, I suppose, so... We'll put these away for now. I guess we also have keys, so we'll put those here. Uh, let's see. Uh, fuses. Fuses, fuses, fuses. I guess they're crafting materials, so we don't need them, but... Alright, fly agaric mushroom. Let's consume it. See what we do. Ah, it deals poison damage, so... Those are gonna be good for poison abilities. Tomato's probably gonna heal. Uh, it heals 10% and gives us poison resistance, which is not good for us. Alright. We've got two extra lock picks, so that's good. Alright. We've got wheat, so that's another material I'm guessing for crafting, so we'll have to worry about those later, but once we get more backpacks, we should be able to organize relatively quickly. Ah. Okay. What's this? Found he who smells it. Uh, new recipe, superior sword. Ah, yes, I guess I never did specify. Reading books is actually really important for this game. Because you get very special things because of it. Be they recipes or whatnot. Alright, put that there. There we go. I guess we could actually just leave one open, so that way we can heal. Ah, another agaric mushroom. Perfect. But yeah, no, the poisons really help. Shh. I think I hear voices downstairs. Oh. The last thing we need is to surprise another angry summoner. Alright, we'll go stealth. Let's read. Take those. Nail branch. Alright, what's going on here? I feel uneasy here. I better keep my weapon at the ready. Ah, fireball. Well, it's unfortunate for you guys. Ah, right, I have to click it. I don't have to drag it. Okay. Well, unfortunately for them... Kaboom. Alright. But that's... The quite... Shame that we don't get the loot, but hey, that's a small sacrifice I'm willing. I guess we could check these ones. They seem normal. Yeah, par for the course. Ah, pressure plates. Interesting. There we go. Done and done. We don't necessarily need to split.
Another one for the collection. All right, let's see how the books are looking. Right, I should actually make a place for books, actually, now that I think about it. For now, though, let's put these scrolls in here, for now. Can I combine these? Alright, can they be combined? Okay, they can't. Okay, rip. I guess the scrolls don't stack, which is annoying. Hmm. I thought they did. Oh well. <laughs> uh, let's see, I guess Love Grenade is another thing. I guess we got oil flasks in here. We don't necessarily need to prep the arrows, per se, but we'll leave it alone for now. Ah, another smoke grenade. Okay, let's grab these. Ah, we got to unchain them to uh, open the door here, so... There we go. Okay, so that's how you uh, remove them from the party list. Temporarily. Alright, let's focus on you here. There we go. I guess technically we could just, uh... Alright, there we go. dares disturb the slumber of the dead? A thieving fool insults the sanctity of the grave. The bloodstone defiler, where is it? I met a trio of... Well, who are you? In life, I toil to care for these holy grounds. In death, I protect them from profaners and poachers. The legacy of Cycille is mine to preserve. Her traitors are mine to destroy. I met a trio of strange cult-like figures before the entrance of this tomb. They seem to have a precious stone in their possession. Strange indeed. Robed indeed. Your tricks will not save you from retribution, deceiver. The Bloodstone, deliver it now and I may deign to end you quickly. Bloodstone, I know not what of what you mean. I suppose you only crept among these sacred tombs for leisure. I suppose you had no lust for the treasure of the dead. Ha! Alright, I'll take my leave. Run if you like, Defiler. Whichever way you take leads you to the grave. Uh, okay. Let's summon them. If that's what you want, then I guess combat is the way we go. We'll walk up, then we'll wait for the spider to go. Who will go for the awakened archer, I guess. We don't exactly want to be, uh... Yeah, we'll wait on that, essentially. Let us get the... Let's up Marcus's abilities. There we go. Make him just overly buffed. And let's move Steve up. Ah! Trying to hit the, uh, spider. <laughs> ah, he's going for Marcus. Good. Alright, how much does the weakening spider bite do? It's 6 to 7 damage. Uh, it is a poison bite, though. That's the problem. Well, actually, no. It applies a weakened status. So that would be pretty good, I think. There we go. Alright, weak failed, unfortunately. That does suck. But we can walk forward a little bit. There we go. 
we're going to activate melee power stance. And I guess we just smack him in the face. There we go. Double down. We'll throw down a missile against Rage Quinn. And he's dead. Death oh. never dies, fool. Death in a thousand forms rules all. Alright, let's move up. Alright, the archer's going in clutch. Trying to take out the spider, it seems. A shame, but not unexpected. We'll focus on the spider, which basically it. And now we move over to the other archer. We will use Battering Ram to knock him down. Then we'll smack him again. Uh, we can't smack him a third time, unfortunately, but that's fine. We'll just take advantage of his proneness to take out the Awakened Archer. And I... Th we can't take him out just yet, so we'll hold off. We will now move our butts over to the Ghost. And get ready. Four kill. Done. That wasn't too bad. Cool. But it's... And we are much further than I expected. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go back in favor of trying to open the uh, chest that we left behind. You never know, there might be something worthwhile there. Besides, it gives us a chance to explore. Which is the goal of this game for the most part. Alright, we'll get Marcus going here. That way Steve can go forward. And they unite, and off we go. Simple as can be. And because of the uh, leadership buff that Marcus is giving out, we're getting an additional 5 initiative and damage. So that's pretty good. Okay, we've opened that chest. There's nothing else here, technically. So we want to make our way, I guess, to the entrance, because that is the only chest that we haven't opened. Yeah, we need to go to the very entrance, I do believe. Alright. Alright, our backpack gives us some things to do. We'll put that mushroom in there. Uh, Two-hand practice sword we will leave alone for now. Uh, medicine. I guess that goes into the backpack here. We'll put those here. Put the scrolls here. Fireball. That and that here. Grenades can go here, I suppose. Right, we're going that direction, so we'll just path our way through. Poison Flask goes here. I guess Fire Resistant Potion as well, here. There should be Smoke Grenades. Yep, here we go. More Smoke Grenades. Alright. Ah, perfect. We will... Where do we put the books? That's a good question. I guess... Well, that's, a, that's a lot of recipes, geez.
But yeah, no, as you can see, books are imperative for learning things, so... It is uh, very good to read, if you can. Because the more you read, the better. Or better the results, I should say. Alright, mug of beer, we'll consume. Oh, are we there yet? Nope, not yet. Uh, mug of beer, intelligence minus one, heals five. 20% chance to set drunk status for two turns, though. Okay. Well, I mean, it's something. Ah, right, water balloon. That will go in here. There we are. I guess I'll put these here for now. And I'll have to figure out a uh, place for another. Uh, can we open this? Nope, but we can pick its lock. So let's see if we can do that. Alright. We managed to get another fabric die of white version. Nice. And let's just go out and uh, let's continue on our merry way. Oh, whoops. I guess we accidentally auto-clicked. Bone pile here. Back. Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, these guys go up north, so we should uh, definitely figure out where that's going to happen. I've already done the optional tutorial area, so we don't need to go through that again. comes my way, walking the sands upon which this war shell must suffer. Who are you, Sir Shell? Call me Ishmael, son of the sea, an outcast upon these wretched shores. An exiled shell, doomed to live under a canopy of arid sky, not his native tender water. It seems strange that you can talk. Of course I can talk. Don't be silly. There's more tongue to me than heart. Indeed, the surprise should be mine. For I still remember the days when your kind swung from branches and plucked the vermin out of their neighbor's fur. Oh. You don't seem to remember the past very fondly. Time is an indulgent mistress to one who spends happy hours as she passes. But when your existence is one of misery, she becomes a lethargic harm. Oh, I remember ancient times, for I have lain here since antiquity, when the ruins around us were palaces, and the sun-bleached dead merry children. All this I have seen, alive, alone, alas. You say that you're doomed. My fate is a cruel one, I assure you. How many snot noses have held me up against their dirty little ears, only to claim they can hear the ocean? Of course they can hear her, the rats! We are on the very edge of the great aquatic mother, whose embrace I so desperately long for. So it's the sea's embrace you long for? Yes, yes! I, King of Pearls, ache to repose anew on his coral throne. Hurl me toward the water. Swing me as far as your arm strength gives lease. And treasure long sunk, I will grant thee. I should decide what to do with you. What do you say, kind knight? Will you return the King of Pearls to the sea so he may yield you long lost treasure? Hmm. Kindness is its own reward, and then there's the promise of treasure to boot. 
Let's throw him into the sea. Kindness is its own reward. And then there's the promise of treasure to boot. Let's throw him into the sea. Agreed. Let's send him home. Liberator! Kind benefactor! Bless me the might of your sea-bound fish. Off you go. The sea, the sea, I have returned. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. He's got quite the arm. Technically no arm, but hey, we've got Mermaid's Kiss because of it. An interesting item. It's 11 water resistance and 9 HP. I'm going to give that to our... Uh, I'm going to give that to Marcus, I think. He uh, can definitely use the HP because he is a tank after all. So all the better to give it to him. Uh, we'll keep the gold on him for now. Uh, green fishing rod. Eh. We'll leave it. Alright, let's go. Uh, we found a shovel. If you find a suspicious looking mound, you may be able to dig something up. Huh. Good to note. Well, if we find... Ah, I see. It allows us to tell. Let's grab this, the wooden crates. I guess we've got a cooking pot for our troubles, a carrot. Nice. much can Marcus carry? Okay, so he's got a carry weight of 110. Okay, we've made our way over to this area. Nice. Slips past the Legion unchallenged. Calm down, Junius. Doesn't look, look like one of them walks to me. <laughs> Not a single horn in sight, you know. Hmm. Just hold your tongue with you, Bibius. Can't be too careful. We are sworn to protect Sightseal. Who are you? We're Legionnaires, of course. On the lookout for orcs. For they've been attacking from the sea. God knows why they do it, but we stand firm. We of the Legion, liberators of Rivalon. Uh, liberators of liquor too, aren't we, old chum? <laughs> Shh, just pipe down, will you, Bibius? So you are liberators, you say? Aye, a noble word for watchdog, that. For that is what we do. Watch over the local dogs that ever so often aim for one another's throat and separate them to keep the peace. Separate by the sword, that is. Best way to calm a wily dog is to neuter it. Ha! <laughs> Spay for pay. Legion's motto. Just put a sock in it, will you, Bibius? Seems you've been enjoying a drink or two. Ever kept the watch? Stood on the lookout for hours on end, bored stiff. Boredom's a demon buddy, and booze is the demon hunter. <laughs> there. I do declare it's time for this hunter to take another shot. Huzzah! 
We're here. We he, We are here on Source Hunter's business. Here's our orders. So you're Source Hunters, are you? And how are we supposed to verify that's true? We can't read, my friend. So for all we know, those papers say you're a polymorph parrot on the lookout for a two-bedroom birdcage that don't prove a thing. You know what? We'll take you two to the wizard. I know he reads. He has books large as a house, that one. Yeah, he'll squeeze the truth out of you one way or another. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, the wizard, you say. Sounds good to me. Lead the way. The wizard, you say. Sounds good to me. Lead the way. Agreed. A wizard is bound to know more about what is going on around here. Yeah. Kevin, come along. We're not far from the city. All right. Lovely day for a swig and a song, isn't it? What do you want to know? Uh, about Councillor Jake. So, it's Jake you're looking for. <laughs> Ship sailed on that one, I'm afraid. Fellow's dead. Murdered. Can you tell me about Jake's murder while I'm here? Can't tell you much more, except that I heard he was found face down in a puddle of blood, being used as a water fountain by his own pet mongrel. Uh, they say it was his wife that did it, and I'd bet a bottle of brandy they're right. Devilish flirt, that one. As if that proves anything! Just keep your trap shut, will you, Bibius? Interesting. Tell me more about the orcs while we're at it. Bunch of barbaric bastards, a lot of them! They'll kill your spouse and eat your children. We've been putting up a fight against them, to be sure. But they have the strength of an ox in every single one of their fingers. Takes an army to dress down a dozen. Well, we did bring a legion. Just by you live with you, Bibius! <laughs> I think Bibius is a bit loose lipped. <laughs> Which is good. I believe we're close to Sicil. Sicil, yes. Where fishermen come to live and street dogs come to die. Now, which of the two would you be then? Just cut the cackle where your baby is. Now then, stranger, if it's the city of South Seal you're looking for, you're heading in the right direction. Even though most folks are trying to escape rather than reach the damn place these days. Not that I could blame them. This place is cursed, I tell you. First the dead rise from their graves, and then entire tribes of orcs sound the trumpets of war. <sighs> You take to the rifleless. I'll take my leave. Fairly well. Yeah. Thanks for the information, my dudes. Yeah, let's have another drink while we still can. To your very good help. And yours, Pippius. Alright, before we do, let's uh, level up. Alright. First, we got Steve. I think it's in our best interest to improve our intelligence. But honestly, I think it might be better for us to increase our speed. Nah, let's increase our intelligence first. There we go. That will increase our offensive rating there. We get two available skill points that we can invest anywhere, so we will uh, address that. We'll start with a buff in leadership. Uh, we can't level up our witchcraft, it seems, unfortunately. Uh, craftsmanship we can't use just yet. Charisma we can't level up. Oh, okay. You spend two points to level up leadership. Oh, that that's annoying. Although I guess it increases it to a... Uh, yeah, instead of boosting initiative and damage, it also increases your chance to hit as well. So that is, an, that is a good reason. 
Okay, so it basically costs more points the more you want to level up something. So I guess we'll level up leadership. Or do we level up charisma, actually? I think we level up leadership, or charisma, specifically. Uh, we can get bartering later, I guess. Or what do we go with, actually? Hmm. I suppose we could go a point in telekinesis and a point in bartering. That'll at least uh, make things cheaper and... Yeah, the barding would be really helpful here. Ah, no, no. Let's go with charisma. That is a just a good staple card. Or ability, I should say. Alright, for Marcus, we're just going to boost up his strength, I suppose. That way his arm his armament skills are much better. And he has two points, so we can focus into literally anything we want. I say we focus into just making Lucky Charm better, I, th I think. Because at the very least, if he focuses into Lucky Charm, then things are just going to be better for him. It determines your luck when finding treasure and improves offensive rating. Yeah, so basically he's just going to have a high to hit rating, which is really good. I can accept that. All right. For Got that. No. What the hell is happening down there? Oh, oh. Come. Let's go back to the bridge. Let the source hunters handle their big brutes. <laughs> of trash. Hello. Alright, let's wander over. Alright. Alright, let's start by helping the legionnaires, I suppose. Uh, you know what? Let's take this off. Well... Ah, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll keep it on for now. Hold on. Yeah, no, let's take this off. Unequip. As much as I like it, it's just too annoying to uh, deal with, and it just hampers my desire to do anything special. Okay... Lock picking to lock to lock pick. Use lock picks and click on the item you want to crack. Okay. Uh, Laura, no personality. I guess we can have Marcus be barter. No, no. Instead, we are going to focus on, I guess, single-handed. Yeah, because he's been using single-handed already. So go from there. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, he has an ability, so we'll go with that. So let's give him a bonus to strength. Alright, let us go for... Let's go for the Orc Trooper. Boom. Knockdown has failed, but we can get the attack off. Or try to. And we'll just activate the stance for free. Alright, there we go. Ah! He's going for Steve. Ah, the flanking power. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, Legionnaires are going in clutch. I think it's high time we focus on the... Spider? No, we, we summon a new spider, I say. There we go. There we go. New spider. And we will move away to avoid the oil barrel. That way we can start taking out the orc here. There we go. Alright, let's see. How's the Legionnaires doing? They're doing alright. Alright, let's get uh, Marcus moving. Alright, let's bite the young orc, get weakness applied, and get another attack in. Failed, unfortunately. Ow. Marcus, no. <laughs> I really should get an AoE spell. Actually, now that I think about it, I do have scrolls of him. Why don't I just put my Source Hunter backpack here? Yeah, there we go. Now I can access my bag here. Alright, and if I do that, then I can uh, start focusing on these guys. I will need to move four spaces, though. Let's see, how far can, can I get? I can get up to 6.4 meters here to clear up the space. Uh, it'll cost 3 AP to cast the buffs, so we're going to avoid those for now. Instead, we're going to use the chance to target the Black Cultist, or do we want to target these three? I guess we'll target... Oh uh, no, if we target them, then they're... Hmm. You know what? Let's just focus on casting spells. So we'll, go, we'll target the Black Cultist here. Boom. 18 damage. Then we'll buff for next turn. Ow. Marcus is suffering. <laughs> Alright, how's Marcus looking for buffs? We'll, we'll be fine. Activate on guard. And we'll go for the young orc trooper here. There we go. That'll be his turn. We'll go for the orc here. Fail to attack. Ah, the orc shaman's going nuts. <laughs> Ah, perfect. <laughs> the Legionnaires are going ham. Alright, let's buff up Marcus. Give him as much leeway as possible. There you go, my dude. And let's take another strike at... Well, who do we target? I guess we can target this dude here. Boom. There we go. Ah, the cultist is getting afraid. <laughs> Alright. Target the young orc. And let's go for the young orc now. The spider has dealt with the foe there, and now we rush over to the Black Cultist. Alright, let's move a bit. Uh, we can only cast this... It's gonna cost a 3 AP, so we're gonna want to move with 5 AP in mind. So we'll move here. And now we attack the Black Cultist. Boom. Ah, he's going for the dagger. Alright, how much does this cost? It costs 6 AP to use, so... 
So we'd only get to here. And we wouldn't be able to heal anybody, so yeah, let's just get Marcus in close. Spider's gone, but that's fine. The buffs are going to be... Oh! There we go. Had a human commander. Well, Bibius and Junius, how very curious. They hear the fight. And how very disquieting. Hello. Oi, the soul hunter. Nice to see these winds are blowing more than bloody orcs our way. Welcome to Psy Seal, comrade. And good luck. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm not so different from any other soldier you'll meet round these parts. We've all lost more comrades here in Sicil than most do in an entire military career. What happened here? It's these orcs. Now that they have bees in their bonnets about God only knows, we need every hand we can get. That rat-faced shaman of theirs even went to the trouble of launching a fireball at a ship in the harbor to the west of here. A fireball? How are the soldiers making out? It's hard to say. That ship needs attention, and fast, or she's as good as sunk. Got any special source hunter tricks to make a blue sky turn to rain clouds? Why was there a human fighting alongside those orcs? Beats me what traitorous madness came over that dog. A man among orcs? It'd be like one of your kind running with a sorcerer. Whatever the Kerr's incentive to raise swords alongside that murderous lot, let's all hope it was a private grudge. Can you imagine if we had to add a slew of wild-eyed orc-loving bedlamites to our list of enemies in Sicil? Yeah, who knows? I'll take my leave. Hold on. I think I might be able to help here. Boom. Get some rain going. There we go. <laughs> that should help him a little bit. Got some cloth shoes, mail armor, and smokescreen arrows. Interesting. All right, but we did them a favor, got rid of all that, uh, we got rid of the fire on the ship. From a, uh, scroll to do the job for us. Which works for us. All right, got boulder bash. Got some loot from corpses, I guess, here and there. Nothing too... Well, unless, uh, unless it's really dependent on who opens the corpses, I guess we'll, I guess we'll, uh, focus on Marcus for opening corpses now. It might yield some better results. Uh, hold, hold on, let me check, actually. If you have a character with a high lucky charm levels in your party, have them open all chests if possible. Okay. Okay, so as long as uh, Marcus is the one open. Kind of going to be needed. What's all this ruckus? Sounded worse than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Huh. Ah, but I see we've suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can only come to one conclusion. 
Source hunters have arrived in Sisu. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I'm Ahu, at your service. It was I who requested your presence in this troubled city. I was summoned here by a cat. So you were, and so you weren't. Behold! There we are. Meet my other half, Hunter. Ah. <laughs> no need to look so flabbergasted. I may be a wizard rife with tricks and guile, but I assure you, my plea is an earnest one. So, now that the cat is out of the bag, let us turn to the matter of Counselor Jake's murder. Did you really just turn into a cat for that pun? I'm, I'm ashamed in you, Arhu. It's hard to put my finger on it, but I can feel in my very whiskers that sorcery was at play. Visit the scene of the crime, and I bet sardines for salad you'll say the same. Oh, no, you just like being a cat, I guess. Captain Aureus, though, the local commander of the Legion, insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind to all but the undead. Where can I find a scene of the crime? Jake was murdered in a downstairs room of the King Crab Inn, up in Sisiel proper. The Legion keeps it under lock and key, though, so you'll need Aureus's permission, should you want to have a peek. A uh, counselor has been murdered, so I assume you have some suspects. So there are. Or rather, there is. Popular opinion has it his wife did the deed. But to be frank, I have my doubts. She seems a likely candidate, to be sure, but that would make her a sorceress. Esmeralda knows how to charm, yes, but I just don't see her magic extend beyond a frolicsome look and wink. Still, don't simply take my word for it, Hunter. It may be well worth your while to cross-examine her yourself. The Legion has her under guard in her shop near the town square. That's where you'll find poor Jake's widow. There's something else I'd like to discuss. It may interest you to know that the orcs we took care of were led by a human. A human, you say? Truly? But that would be like a kitten leading a wolf pack. And yet, I have heard rumors about a sect of sorts. A shadowy set of worshippers that associate even with orcs. Some say they're sorcerers, but people will say that about anyone who behaves a bit strangely nowadays. I don't quite know what to make of this news, but thank you for informing me. It'd be foolish to dismiss such a curious event out of hand. What exactly is the trouble you're having with the undead anyways? Ah, the undead. They've been clawing their way out of the ground for two years now. And for two years, the stalemate between them and the living has been dragging on at a weary pace indeed. The Legion did a good job keeping them at bay, but I think it's fair to say that without my magic-infused ballastay, they'd have gotten the better of us by now. Someone is responsible for the outbreak. Necromancers are at work, but who are they and where do they hide? Alas, that searching for them is like searching for a single louse in a lion's mane. From what I've seen and heard, this isn't the first time you've had problems with marauding orcs. Unfortunately, that is absolutely correct. The orc siege is yet another hairball stuck in this city's already choking throat, and it shows no signs of abating. We've cordoned off the western beach where most orc activity has been reported. For the nine lives of me, I can't seem to figure what they're doing here. There's nothing of interest along the waterfront, except for a set of caves with an unfavorable reputation. Maybe they're after some pirate's treasure, the fools. <laughs> Do tell me a bit more about this cat trick of yours while oh, we're at it. That's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guise? 
it's weird, I'm not gonna lie. Such magic is a gift, Hunter. To tread upon the realm of instinct. Even articulate speech, perhaps humanity's greatest asset, cannot give expression to something so inextricably innate. To be out in the night, to stalk on silent paws and hunt with only the moon as your witness. You couldn't possibly imagine the thrill. But of course, it's handy to speak in more than meows. And I couldn't brew potions or make machines without opposable thumbs. This I freely admit. Let's just say I have found a way to enjoy the best of two worlds. Right, I'll take my I'm leave, weirdo. Met Source Hunter, and I'm certain we have a lot more to talk about. Feel free to visit me whenever you want. I've set up a workshop in the Legion's headquarters. Once you're there, just take the stairs, but do pay a visit to Aureus first. He may bark like a beagle with its tail stuck in the door, but you won't get very far in your investigation without speaking to the de facto leader of Saisi. And with that, I bid you adieu, Hunter. Adieu and good luck. May your enemies prove to be mere mice and you the dauntless mouser. Sects? Undead? Orcs? Looks like we have our work cut out for us. At least we won't be bored. How about we yeah, go see that Aureus chap? Alright, let's start putting scrolls away for now. And then we'll go for a... Trying to figure out what's going on. I guess we'll put the books like here. Alright, antique male armor. I guess we can give that to... Uh, we can give that to Marcus. And he can wear that, I guess. Is it better than his current armor? It certainly is. But it does suffer a movement penalty. But it is level 2, so... Still better than what he's currently got. Alright, let's put the tomato away. We got bluegill mushrooms, we'll test that, so we'll consume one, see what it does. Uh, water resistance, much like the shells. Okay. Uh, we've got a carrot, I guess we'll eat that, see what that does, it's probably healing. Uh, we do get speed, sight, and heals 10%, but we do suffer a strength penalty. Okay, cup of water. That gives us heal 5%, that's not good for us. Alright, let's read this. Arrow shaft recipe, nice. Tomato sauce, I see. Alright, I guess we got the cooking pan, we got a few other items. We're probably gonna sell quite a bit, but that's fine. Let's see, weapon. 11 to 16 damage, one handed. Okay, we should be fine. Well, what does it matter? Daylight was more suited to my nature anyhow. Yes, honest pay for an honest right. day. Oh, right. Marcus. Marcus needs to be the one to do this. Alright, send to Steve. Send to Steve. To Steve. 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 Nope, we send to Steve. There we go. Oh, hail the rain spirit. That was a fine display of magicianship it was. Ah, oh, who knew what he was doing bringing in a sauce hunter, didn't they? How about the burning ship? I thought the old gal's fate was sealed when the orc shaman set his fiery gaze on her sails. But you managed to rescue her from a watery grave. Closest thing to a miracle I've ever seen. Alright, I'll take my leave. Steel. All hail the rain.
Thanks. I thought the old. As long as we're not stealing, we should be fine. Although we should probably swap to Marcus, so we, uh. Yeah, so we just gotta right click everything and uh, send to Steve, basically. Alright, send to Steve. Okay, nothing in the basket. Uh, swap back to here. Alright, send to Steve. To Steve. Warriors in Rivalon can't cross a rope. Seriously? We we seriously can't cross a rope. Are you kidding? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Alright, that's stupid. Um Okay, target's blocked. Could we potentially jump it, though? Hmm. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, nope. Target is blocked, unfortunately. So we're gonna need a teleport spell, it seems. If we want to, uh, get at it. That's unfortunate, but uh, not unexpected. Okay. Okay. Send to Steve. Send to Steve. We can loot these without too much hassle. Alright, discovered a waypoint. Nice. Ah, move. <laughs> Quite the moo. All right, we got another teleporter. We got the warehouse gates. Nothing too fantastical. Although we should probably explore the rest of this area before we move on. Uh, it appears another ship has burned down, unfortunately, which does suck, but hey. We did what we could. Oh, hello. Livelihood, all sunk in a matter of minutes, while we could do nothing but look on. Now uh, tell me about yourselves. Well, we were merchants what seems like a moment ago. With our ship sunk, we're little more than three men with nothing more to say than boo. Ah, uh, what happened here? These damn orcs. They can't keep off this place for the life of them. They came in here slinging fireballs and swinging swords. Wasn't a thing we could do to defend ourselves. Uh, about finding work. With our ship gone, nothing for it but to get a job. Slim pickings around here, that's for sure. Maybe you can keep an eye out, though. Yeah, sure. I will. How about the burning ship? That was a right stunning show of magic you pulled, it was. Wish you'd have been around when our own barge went down in flames. Yeah, sorry about that, man. But it can't be helped. Have you found us a job yet? We'll take anything. Have you found us a job? No, not yet. Just, it's gonna take time, I'm sure. All right. Of all the cursed humps of rock to land on, Conrad chooses this one. How about that burning ship? That was some fast acting there. Many thanks on behalf of all us seamen. That was quite the attack on the harbor. Madness. Thought we were done with those swampy uglies a fortnight ago. Note, though, that none of them dared to come close to the tide splitter. Hmm. Oh, and don't forget the time he got caught passing a... Sauce? 
All right, basically it's a rough. Yeah, basically people are suffering because the orc attacks are uh, going crazy. I'm not sure if there's going to be any specialties with what's going on here, but it's fine. All right, send a Steve. I guess we can send a backpack to Steve as well. That way, I mean, we can start using this backpack for something, I'm sure. Better than, uh, not, uh, better than leaving it alone for now. Alright, let's swap the backpacks here. There we go. This backpack will be dedicated to storing in equipment. Alright. Let's just store all the weaponry in here, I guess. So thing, uh, we'll keep the shovel out. We'll store in the hammer. We'll store in the claymore. Uh, hammer goes in here. Air staff. Oh wait, hold on. Air staff. Thirteen to sixteen. More damaging than our source hunter that staff. So put that there. Let's see. Branch can go away. Branch. We've got a key to an ancient stone gate. This backpack will store the key. Man, these guys are... So, there's so much, like, sneaky talking with them. Jeez. I'll keep the fishing rod just in case. I'm not sure if it's going to be useful or not, but we'll see. Alright, we'll keep the pot. We don't need two, so we'll uh, ditch that later. Yeesh, so much talking. Stop. Okay, there. That'll, that'll be a bit better. <laughs> oh man, my ears uh, ring from that. Just over and over and over again. Put the orders there. Uh, order, history. We'll have to sell some stuff, but that's fine. Got some herbs, we've got some orange juice. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Alright, we're gonna have to sell some stuff, but that's fine. I half expected it, to be honest. Well, they like to share stories, so... Alright, tell me about yourself. Name's Conrad. Cargo trader, sea captain, an expert in all things nautical. Folks across Andervale know to give old Conrad a hollow when it comes to rare imports and magical items. What do you think of the attack on the harbor? Those orcs must be out of their barbarous minds launching an attack on a city where a great wizard resides. Though even I must admit they put up a hearty effort. I'll tell you, the only time I'd consider waging a suicide campaign like that would be if whatever I saw was something worth dying over. That is true. Let's go for a trade. He does seem to have some interesting items, so... Hmm... A uh, sparkling copper ring. I guess we'll get rid of... Alright, let's get rid of the landscape painting. Uh, let's get rid of a cooking pot. We don't need two sets of orders, so we'll abstain from that. We'll get rid of uh, one order source. And we'll keep the rest, I guess, because they're not copies. We don't need a pan. We don't need the... Well, we'll keep the green fishing rod just in case. Uh, if we get nothing in return, I'm fairly certain we get more rep with him. Yeah. If, if we trade stuff with him, uh, we can just increase his aptitude, and then we can actually buy stuff for cheaper, I do believe. Alright, I'll take my leave for a moment, but strictly so I can start getting barter stuff going. Alright, crafting materials, 
And we've got specialty, specialty arrows that we don't necessarily need. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Red Snapper, we heal 10%, but we get Intelligence. Potato's probably going to be the same. Yep. Heal 10, but we get Constitution. Herring is the same. We suffer some damage in favor of Intelligence. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. The talking's just going to nag on over and over. Yeesh. I guess we can send it all to Marcus. That way he can be just our cell guy. Yeah, let's let's send it all to Marcus, so that way he can be the cell guy for this time. There we go. Uh, OJ is probably going to be the same. Yeah, more... At the very least it gives Dexterity 1, but geez, the healing is going to be needed. I should probably see about fixing that at some point. Hold on. Let's actually... Uh... Alright, let's get the... Let's consume the Fly Agaric Mushroom, just so we can get some healing going. Well... Eh. 100% chance to set the poison status for one turn. Oh well. Uh, do we need anything in here? I guess there's keys here, but we don't need those. I'll put these over here. Oh, did we not sell our stuff? Oh no, we did. Okay, never mind. I thought we didn't, and I'm like, oh, okay. Alright, let's give the completed arrows to Marcus. Uh, let's... We're not going to be using uh, arrows, I don't think, so we'll send all those arrows to Marcus for sale. We will use the arrowheads to make more profit, but that's about it. Uh, food stuff is another thing entirely, so we'll put all those in here. Because we could probably combine it to make a bit more cost uh, on items. As for dye, we'll leave it alone. Uh, cooking pot, uh, backpack, no. Alright, here we go. We're gonna keep the... We're gonna keep the flask there. We will keep the po uh, potion bottles, because they will be used for crafting. And in fact, we could use the Source Hunter backpack here to handle our, you know, crafting ingredients. So we'll put that in here, we'll put, I guess, this in here this 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 will be crafting ingredients as well bing boom how we'll get the arrows set up and we'll keep the lock picks on us the rift oglers and we'll keep all the rest here uh thread will go in here and fishing rod will be here good and books will just be on the bottom for uh, steve to handle Otherwise, Marcus will be dedicated to selling and whatever else we do. Alright, there we go. Now we just sell all this. Alright. Uh, do we want anything particular here? I guess we get 222 gold. There we go. Done. And for this, we just send the gold to Steve. To a handle. Alright, do we need anything else? No. Okay. Pablo. Alright, nope. Nothing too special here. We'll just leave them alone. Alright. Uh, we won't be able to get away with using healing potions, I don't think. So we should probably deal with those at some point. Yeah, let's put the potions away. 
And we'll just focus on our backpacks to uh, handle the inventory there. Kinda wish we could get the trait for talking with animals, but we're gonna have to wait on that. For now though, Marcus is in charge. Okay. Let's send to Steve. And Steve will organize it later. Send to Steve. To Steve. There we go. Oh, I guess I could do it that way. There we go. Alright. There we go. Yeah, no. We'll have uh, Marcus look through them, and then we just swap over. I guess we read this. First send to Steve, and then we read. That should give us some new recipes. We got a homemade shield. Nice. And I guess we can put it in order. Volume 1, Volume 2. Then we got the Volume 6 there. Alright, that is the... We've got... We got volume 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Alright, let's move back. Send to Steve. To Steve, there we go. Anything else? Not really. Yep, nope, nothing. Okay, we keep moving. Anybody else around here? Not really. Yeah, this is pretty more barren, but we're basically just doing this for the loot. Claiming as much as possible for our future use. We got a poison grenade, which is going to be nice. Alright, let's see, what else we got? Nothing, nothing. Uh, Moonstone. Ooh, that's interesting. Send to Steve. That might be a cell, honestly. Uh, Washboard. Meh, it's alright. But yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna have to change the stream title at this rate, given uh, how the stream's been going. We had to uh, stick with two characters, it seems, so, yeah. Alright, send to Steve. Alright, send to Steve. Ah, we got lucky and managed to get the scroll. Nice. I'm not complaining. That's a buffer there. Alright. Got one more fish pile, it seems, so we'll grab that with Marcus. Alright, send to Steve, and off we go. Okay, we've got Esmeralda, we've got the crime scene, and the strange cave. I think we should start with... ...before we start questioning other people first. Halt! These gates are to remain closed at all times. Captain's orders. Hmm, wait a second. Well, I'll be a little red imp's uncle, the Source Hunter. Sorry for the gruff treatment, I didn't recognize you right away. Please tell me, how can I aid the investigation? So, civilians aren't outside, are allowed outside the skates. You can see security's tighter than ever around here since that surprise attack the Orcs put on a fortnight ago. They did enough damage to shake up Ahu and Captain Aurea something fierce. Okay. We can only hope to hold back the undead and these left field orc attacks long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Alright, before we go out there, I'll take my leave. We should at least do our mission as uh, requested. I can't even smell the sea air over this rot. Alright, there we go. That'll close everything. 
Alright, let's open the fish pile. Alright, we'll send to Steve as we usually do. There we go. Fancy sip skipper. Okay, nothing's going on. Shame. Okay, so we're not getting the evidence that we need. I guess the crime scene is the go-to here. So we just gotta go around the uh, fortress for now. And see what else is there. Yet. I wouldn't venture. Oh wait, hold on. Within the walls. Okay. All right, our first. Okay, so we need to go into this building, it seems. How do we get in there? I guess we go over... Okay, so this is a long roundabout way to go through. Forge, fire, and something else. What happens if I do the fire here? Nothing, okay. Well, I don't know any good recipes, so I'll abstain for now. at some point, just to make our task a little faster. Ah! A backpack! Perfect! A backpack's going to be fantastic for us. Alright. Girls. Alright, send to Steve. To Steve. There we go. Nothing else. Town hall bathroom, I see. Okay, there's a well, there's wooden crates. Fire essence, that's, I assume, a crafting material component. Ah, holy hand grenade, good. As you can see, uh, it's a good preference to uh, try and loot as much as you can. It just helps. You there! A moment of your indulgence, if you please. You are the source hunter, are you not? The hero the whole of Sightseal is abuzz about. The talk of the town. The juiciest grape on the grapevine. Such a pleasure to meet you. A delight. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put me on this very spot, so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity indeed. And you are... Mendius, at your service. What is my profession? Well, I'll tell you what it used to be, and that is a man of medicine. 
But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I saved lives, to be sure, but today I change them. Okay, you're not worried about, well, about the opportunity you mentioned. What is it? Oh, it's not merely an opportunity. It is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to become better. To become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So first of all, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? I'm here to do my duty, which is hardly the same as adventuring. I'm here to do my duty, which is hardly the same as adventuring. Agreed. Adventuring. Agreed. Adventuring implies frivolity. Duty does not. You may tell yourself you dislike adventure, but the mud on your boots and the blood on your blades say otherwise. One wouldn't become a source hunter if one didn't relish the exhilaration of battle. The lust for hidden knowledge and secrets. Hmm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? Riches do not interest me much, actually. Riches do not interest me much, actually. Nor me. Wealth is but vanity. Oh, but I know you're just being bashful. I bet that in your heart of hearts, your eyes water with joy when you discover yet another treasure during your travels. He really seems like a slindler, I'm not gonna lie. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety, without spice? To be a source hunter must get frightfully dreary sometimes, am I right? All those orders, investigate this, retrieve that, and at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots? Be your own boss? There is no shame in following directives if your masters are worthy of your trust. True enough. We serve a just cause, so why wouldn't we follow our orders? Come now. I refuse to believe such a uniquely skilled individual would settle for a puppet's role. Life's too short to spend it doing someone else's bidding. Am I right? Of course I am. And I could help you attain the dream. Enact the This man is just so deserve. persistent. Stop. We're here to do a job, jeez. And that is exactly why I am here. Why fate has put me right by the door to the King Crab. So that I could meet you and tell you about the marvel that is the fabulous find. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. <sighs> I'm gonna hate myself for this, but tell me more about the Fabulous Five. Ah, oh, the Fabulous Five. How I enjoy simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurers guild in Rivalon. Our mission? To better the world. Our mantra? To better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? Of course you would. And you can. Of course, if you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? So what is it that the members of Fabulous Five actually do? What a gem of a question. Straight as an arrow. Sharp as a switchblade. Most meritorious of you. Now, to join the Fabulous Five is to join a fellowship, to join a fraternity, a 
tolerance, sorority, a community. The title of knight is bestowed upon you the moment you sign our waiver, and so it all begins. I shall be the one to give you your first contracts, and once the job is done, I shall see to it you get your fair share of the reward. Of course, should you spread the word, should you propagate the gospel of the fabulous five and thereby draw new knights into our fellowship, you will get a share of the reward from their contracts too. Isn't that wonderful? By now, the genial glow of the fellowship must have warmed your heart. It has, hasn't it? But did I say fellowship? I mean family. For like a family, we support one another, cheer one another, see each other through thick and thin, partake in glory and defeat. Work hard, fulfill contracts, enlist new knights, and swiftly shall you rise through the ranks. You will better yourself. You will better Rivalon. You will make the stars shine all the brighter, and you'll get fabulously wealthy in the process. What's not to like? Yeah, no, let's change the subject. You're not worried about the undead out and about? They call the undead a problem, my friend, but those who know the ways of the fabulous five see no problems. They see opportunities. An enterprising spirit can This man's providing a pyramid scream rocks. or scheme rather. Cold dead full stop. Yeah, no, I'm gonna take my leave. Yeah, I'm not interested in your uh, gospel. Thank you very much. <laughs> you have a good one trying to enlist people. I don't wanna deal with it. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Aureus before you. Uh, tell me about yourself. I am the Duke of Ferrell, though I suppose my name is in the mouths of enough ruthless gossipers that you've heard of me by now. What do you know about Jake's murder? It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the Counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. Okay, I'll take my leave then. Back, demon! Back, or I'll... Well, what's this? Oh, <laughs> Medora, you lummox. A thousand pardons, comrade. This old bear's edger than a dodecahedron these days. It's all good, it's all good. I'll tell you, it sure does me good to set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain Wartruce my regards next time you see him. I haven't heard of another source hunter being assigned to Sicil. What are you doing here? Heavens, hornets! That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might concern you. See, I'm here on, well, let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages, either. But ones who've taken dark magic to new heights. Hmm. What they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their horns in their suitcases, and a knee-knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce hunter again. I came south seeking the Legion's help, only to find it tied here in Sicil. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward, and even in my finest form, I can't clear the place of that many orcs without backup. Uh, who did you say you were? I don't recognize you from the Academy. You wouldn't. I trained up in Academy North, after all. We don't cross paths with you Westies all that often. But it's always a pleasure when we do. Medora's the name. Retired. Or so the Order keeps trying to tell me, but never out of commission. My hand to your cause and my sword at your side. Orcs attacked your village. How did you manage to escape? By the skin of my teeth, comrade. 
The savages were rounding up villagers when one of them activated a tripwire on our village wizard's property. Fortunately for me, that particular wizard has a penchant for things that go boom in the night. I managed to wrench free of my captor's grip and flee toward the forest. He pursued me for miles, but I'd lost him before I made it into the Sicil hinterlands. What's your next plan of attack then? Well, comrade, I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my shoulder just now. But perhaps that's where you come in. I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I see it, you could use reinforcements here in town. I've been scouting Sicil for some time now, and I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of the Counselor. With our minds and swords in tandem, we'll make short work of the perpetrator. So that's your proposition. You help us here in Sicil, and we help you take back your home village thereafter. But it seems you've got all the help you need, haven't you? More's the pity. We could have beheaded a hundred Source Yetis in the name of the Order. What evidence of Source in Sicil have you found thus far? More than I'd hoped, comrade. I don't know what tarnation's gotten into the townsfolk here, but there's enough dark magic running roughshod to topple a small mountain. There's Mayor Cecil's doings for one, and the mysteries of our Master Thaleron for another. And on top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth and shadow. Hmm. Now don't get me wrong, I think the mayor's a decent sort, even if he can't hear farther than the tip of his own nose. But from what I've heard whispered around the docks, the old guy's gotten himself mixed up in something not quite on this side of the law. I see. I suspect an illegal source artifact or substance is at the root of it, but exactly what or who's given it to him, I can't say. And since I haven't technically been assigned to Sicil, I don't have the authority to interrogate him. Alright, tell me about... Felleron. No, Fella seems like a humble doctor, but I bet my sword he's dealing in something darker in splints and tonics. A loose-lipped fishmonger let slip that she'd seen our good doctor scale the city wall on two separate occasions, well past midnight each time. What business could he have among the undead? Hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. That is true. Tell me more about the, um, feline mel menace. You mean you don't already know, comrade? Their kind can see in the dark. It ain't natural. All right. You'll be concerned enough when you realize that reward money won't be lining your pockets. Somebody's angry. Oh, my good man. Drink, if you please. Sorry, I've run out of signed handkerchiefs. An Alistair keyring, maybe. In any case, make it quick. You're not the only fan who wants some of my time. I'm sorry, I'm not actually familiar with you. What do you mean, not familiar? You expect me to believe you've never heard of Alistair the Almighty? Uh, yeah. Why, I'm only the most famous wizard this side of Ladistus. Although, it'd be worth checking the other side too, just in case. And don't forget, I'm the most eminent member of the Fabulous Five to boot. Surely you already know we've been voted the most influential adventurous guild by SideQuest Monthly. Three years running. Sure. <laughs> this fabulous five is just getting weirder and weirder. Your interest is peaked, I see. I'd suggest you have a chat with Mendius outside. He's in charge of recruitment and other such drudgery. A word of warning, though. We only accept the best and the brightest. By the looks of you, I'm not sure you'll make the cut. What do you know about the undead? Those nasty beasts are hardly worth my time. Though I suppose I'll step in if none of the recruits manage to prove adept enough to handle a few skeletons. This man is just hardy talk. All right, no, this order's gotta go at some point. I I really don't like their attitude. Ah, pointless chatter with strangers does so thrill me. How did you know? Please continue interrupting my drink if you'd be so kind. 
All right, who are you? How curious of you to show interest in a lonesome stranger at the bar. Let me answer by saying that who I am is hardly any of your business. And anyone with an ounce of tact would have known that already. All right, can you tell me about the Fabulous Five then? Can I tell you? I suppose I can. And I could. But why would I turn my attention away from this whiskey? When Mendius right outside is simply panting with excitement about the whole affair. Well, someone's my rude. Yeesh. Drink, you please. Simbladorix, that. Ha! Quite under my spell, aren't you? Yes, my imprinting charm never fails. Ah, the most unique of citizens. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Me? You mean you don't recognize me? Well, you must live under a very large, very heavy rock, for I'm the finest wizard in Rivellon. Strange. I've never heard of you myself. Yes, that is strange. Strange indeed. But it's a strange world we live in, isn't it? A strange and magical world. Full of wonders and regionis regentum. And what was that supposed to accomplish? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> you'll find out indeed. If I'm as good as they say I am, I am. You'll have sprouted a pair of long purple ears in the next hour. Oh, how I do love a tasty aubergine in summertime. Right, I'll take my leave then. Man, sh weird for the weirdness of it. Yeesh. Hey, uh, Yavad, can I talk with you for a sec? Hearty welcome to the King Crab Inn, and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have a seat and stay a while. Uh, tell me about yourself. My name's Yavad. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I've been offering the weary travellers of Sicile drink and rest for nearly two decades now, but the King Crab's older than that by a long shot. Yeah, most certainly. All you see before you is the manifestation of my great grandpappy Horatius Dunganess's noble vision. Beer and naps for everyone. No questions asked. How's business? Well, between you and me, things have been rather slow since the, uh, incident. But with spirits high and liquor flowing like it is tonight, it seems the crab may just come out of that pinch. What do you know about Jake's murder? Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, you know. Sure. Tell me about the night of the murder. That room where it happened. It was rented to a certain woman. Though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. From the sounds of it, yeah. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a, a certain Esmeralda. Figured this were just more at same. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. I was startled awake by a horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed me grandpappy's machete, bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it has escaped through the window. But I saw nary a saw when I looked out. You can bet I tailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after that. So it sounds like a woman came in the bump in the night to attack him. We did see a suspicious individual on our way here as well. A caster, and if he says what is right, it's a caster of some sort. Interesting. Do you suspect anyone? Counselor Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. Hard to say. 
Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Duke of Ferrell. A high title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. Do you have any work for a trio of soldiers or sailors? Three hopeless sailors? Truly wish I could help you, but I'm barely keeping afloat as it is. Alright, I'll take my leave then. Okay, so it sounds like something pretty nasty is going on. There's a man named Francis in here, so I guess I could check him out as well. Alright, let's talk with Francis. And may the Immaculate Conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. Tell me, have you yet heard the revelation? What re revelation do you mean exactly? You mean you haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been lost. Steal yourself, friend, for your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift. And the gift is thus. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. Uh, tell me about yourself. <laughs> What's in a name, dear friend? For we all begin equal in the conduit's eyes. And only through great deeds may enter into her inner ring. Tell me more about this conduit. She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess, where all living souls are naturally inclined. She showed us that injury and malady need not mark the end of life, but that through her methods, we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. Ah, for this I'm dealing with a sa an insane man. An immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silverglen, where all may be revealed. Sure. There, among her followers and friends, dwells the goddess's ecstasy, her one way. Right. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. I guess it wouldn't hurt to check out what's going on, but why? Greetings, source hunter. Good day. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. All right, I'm going to need to talk with Captain Aureus then, it seems. All right, Citizen Novak. All right, so I need to talk with Captain Aureus then. Okay, so I need to go to, uh, I need to go further then, it seems. Cheese I could search uh, who's here. Uh, Captain Jack. What are ye staring at? Tell me about yourself. Captain Jack's the name, though the title may be a little generous at the moment. <laughs> My crew ran off, and I can't find enough hardy souls to help me reload the ship and sail off. What happened to your crew? Those scallywags heard there be silver in the Lakula mines, and they abandoned ship like the lily liver turkeys they are. I haven't seen them since the day we docked. Do you have any work for a trio of sailors? Some poor chaps lost their ship and want some work. Just send them to me, and tell them there's a bit of coin and a lot of rum coming their way if they don't mind a bit of honest labor. Sure. All right, let's go let him know then. Well, what sort of hours do you want? Uh, that. 
Jerome. Oh, hello, proportionate one. Oh, I can see from the symmetry in your face that you are a great fan of the fine arts, no? Okay, tell me about yourself. I'm a painter by trade, as you can see, but a cartographer at heart. You might think there isn't enough work for one of my talents in a downtrodden city like Saisio, and you'd be quite right. I travel around Andervale, mastering my craft and finding new subjects to add to my litany of lovely portraits and complex maps. Like this rooster I'm working on now, and the landscape that surrounds him. Alright. Oh, he has treasure maps avail to available. Interesting. Okay, that actually brings up some interest then. I'm going to assume most herrings heal, so that is not going to be a good thing for us. Unless we can go about poisoning these mackerel and all that. Because otherwise we won't have healing. So we should probably figure out a way we can uh, poison these mackerels or something. If we can, that is. Alright, Steve's gold is currently not on him, so I'll take my... I'll take my leave for a moment, so that way I can take out my gold from here. Because I might as well, right? Here we go. That way we have our gold on us at all times, which is going to be more acceptable than not. Although the treasure maps would be nice, I'll have to hold off on them for now. Uh, Cilia. What do you got? You've got... Alright, so you've got arrow magic, and you've got hydro fist magic. As much as I like the arrow and hydro stuff, we won't be able to cast it, so let's just get rid... Let's just go. Alright. Nah. Uh, Citizen's fine. Fletcher's fine. Fish vendor, town guard. Yep. Okay. Nothing too spectacular here. Hmm. If you've got a favorite sheep. Best to fry her up now, for she gets thieved in the night like me dear plump ogget, the finest in me herd. Oh, the sheep are gone. Uh, where's your herd? I recently sold most of the tender loves to a trader heading north. Plenty of business that way these days. Those miners must be preparing for a mighty great feast. Wish I could have a nibble on my dear darlings all ground and spiced. Uh, about your stolen sheep. Yes. Oh, Ogget's been missing for more than a fortnight. I love that sheep, you know. Was planning to cook her into a fine midwinter night agis myself. Do tell me if you hear anything about her. I plan on pursuing whoever stole her with my cleaver in hand. Uh, do you have any work for a trio of sailors? Sorry, there. Haven't got enough livestock left to warrant a hand with the work. Understandable. Tell me about now yourself. The herd's gone, old Birch is just scratching by like a hen till the next batch of beasties comes through. Alright, I'll take my leaf. Alright, so it appears that somebody's missing their sheep, which is not good. Alright, so we're finding more and more problems in our uh, investigation. Some small, some big, but it still matters that we check them out all the same. Junk. All right, well, it's a volume three, so we'll go combine that later. <laughs> all right, well, here we go shop security and all that. Move along. I Lords above, grant me patience. 
You're a source hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? Um, first, let's start off with who are you? I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake, and now, alas, his widow. Poor man. We were both so young when we married. He so rich and I so poor, but is one and only princess just the same. Uh, can you tell me more about this place? Well, what do you want to know? Alright, well, let me start with Cecile. Since the beginning, this has been a particularly favoured region of Rivalon. Even before there was a major settlement here, these cliffs were a special holy site for the ancient pagans. It's hard to believe our great city has so easily crumbled. Alright, what about the undead that are here? They came out of nowhere. Must have been, oh, two years ago now? The very heart of winter. I smelt them before I saw them in the night. Torchlight reflected in their eyes like it does in predators. But these were no wolves. These were our ancestors, come to devour their offspring. Alright. Let's discuss your husband's murder. I need to figure this out. Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried. But everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. I didn't say anything. She seems to be quite adamant about her innocence. We'll need to look for evidence. Yeah. We want to prove she actually did the evil deed. That is true. Legion's greetings. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the rabble that would enforce summary justice on her. Even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. And who are you? I am Septimus. Seventh son in a household of nine. Legionnaires all. Me and two brothers of mine were assigned to Sicil from day one. Alas, both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead. But never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. What do you think about Esmeralda then? So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Rivalon, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder. But in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy. And indeed, a fabrication. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. Alright, let's discuss Jake's death then. Jake's murder is, in a word... A tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicile. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. All right, I'd like to ask you some questions. And what questions are those? Uh, all right, Sicile. This is practically a tomb, and these Sicilians are constantly crying for our attention. There's a zombie in my garden. An orc at my baby. My sheep, my sheep is gone. Oh, woe is me. It never ends. I'll be grateful when our reinforcements finally arrive. Maybe they'll manage to muster the will to care. All right, how about the undead? I remember waking up with a head full of hammers two years ago. The drill sergeant barking away. Up you get, lads. We sail for Sicile. Them's in need of the legion over there. They certainly were, and they are still. Only, we cannot grant them victory. For I have yet to see the mortal soul that can put those undead bastards to rest once and for all. Alright, I'll take my leave then. Alright, so it seems that uh, she is being tried with no evidence, but she seems certain of her innocence. So unless we either get proof of her guiltiness... 
or we find evidence that would say otherwise, well, that's all we can do, really, and hope. Well, Mayor Cecil will be happy to see the likes of a source hunter. Welcome to the town hall of Sicil. All right. Welcome indeed. All right, let's pop these chests open, see if there's anything interesting. Nope. Nope. All right. And off we go. Let's see. Good day, Legionnaires. All right, chair... Silentia. For Selenia. A sight for sore eyes, if ever there was one. I know you're probably knee-deep in that awful murder investigation, but truth be told, the Legion could use your help as well. We've been conducting a series of expeditions into undead territory, and I'm afraid I must admit they've met with very little success. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Lieutenant Selenia, at your service. I'm Captain Aureus, his second in command. But rest assured, I am a lot more kindly inclined towards source hunters than he is. Now, I certainly don't mind a bit of healthy competition and even rivalry between our orders. But I, for one, have no intention of looking a gift horse in the mouth. And that is exactly what your presence in Sisil is, source hunter. A gift and a blessing. Only heroes such as yourself can make a true difference in this troubled part of the world. Such is my honest conviction. All right. What about the uh, undead? The undead. I pitied them at first. Many among them were once kind and innocent civilians of Sicil, after all. No longer do I feel that way, though. Too many of my soldiers have fallen. The dead must be put down without mercy, if we can. The bravest among my men and women tell me they are weaker in the West and stronger in the east, so I suggest you head westward if you want to flex your muscles and test the waters before blindly diving to your death. All right. Interesting. Good to know. All right, so some matters concerning the region. I shall be very glad to share what information I can give you. Uh, is there any place for the... Is there any place for sailors looking for work in the Legion? It's very sweet of you that you are trying to get these men a job, but I'm afraid they're not Legion material. Understandable. Sure, they can tie a knot and blow a whistle like the best of them, but even with a sword in their hands, they wouldn't stand a chance against the undead, and I don't want any more blood on my hands. All right, what about this expedition into hostile territory? If ever we want to be victorious in Sicil, we have to track down the root of the undead uprising. Under the Pact of Volunteers, three expeditions were launched to do just that. But so far, none of their participants have returned. Three landmarks were chosen for further investigation. The Lighthouse, the Burial Mounds, and the Old Church. Places fraught with danger all. Alright, what about this lighthouse? There's a lighthouse to the west, up on the bluffs, overlooking the sea. No man has gone there in a decade, and yet a light shines from its pinnacle every night. The locals say it's haunted, and half a dozen legionnaires have gone to find out whether or not those are mere tall tales. I fear for their safety. Alright, and the burial mounds. Ma there are mounds. ancient burial grounds to be found north of the city. As good a place as any to start looking for necromancers, wouldn't you say? True, true. A local archaeologist offered to tag along with the men. Here's hoping his knowledge on the subject may prove to be of use to them. All right, how about the old church? There's a church to the northeast of here built atop the very place where once stood a temple dedicated to the source. The Sicilians raised it and built a church for the seven instead, supposedly to symbolize the victory of the gods over evil sorcery. All superstitious mumbo jumbo, if you ask me. But when the dead rose, that is when they were first spotted. Hence the expedition. You mentioned a pact you made with the Legionnaires. So I did. The Pact of Volunteers. Many Legionnaires will do whatever it takes to go home, which is why I personally sign their transfer orders the moment they make it back from a mission behind enemy lines. 
The chances of survival during these sorties are only about one in ten, you see. So my soldiers are free to volunteer, and if they are successful, they just bought themselves a boat ride home. Ah, I see. Interesting. Good to know. It seems like uh, we got quite a bit, though, of research. Look on the bright side. Everyone knows the ugly soldiers are the most corrupt. In that case, you'll have the pleasure of putting her down yourself. I wish for you to try it, screech woman. The beast speaks. Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. Um, okay. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. A curious situation you got here. Is the woman in this cage under arrest? She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange-looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit Tullia right in the face, she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. And what will become of this admittedly strange stranger? I'd say you ought to take her off our hands if you had the space. Though we couldn't guarantee she'd do more than piddle on the floor and maul your furniture. Yeah, that's fine. Ice blue eyes, narrow beneath a heavy brow, streaked with sweat and dust. Her hands tense into claws, held at the ready. I mean you no harm, stranger. I only wonder who you are. Her brow knits together, but something in her pose relaxes. She clears her throat. I am bear daughter. I have not come here to find trouble with the Screech Woman. She only startled me. And you, you are a source hunter. I have heard many tales of your order. Your history is long and honorable. How did you end up in this cage? This woman here, the one who now plots her revenge. She crept behind me while I was hunting, and I only defended myself. I, I would not hurt an innocent Screech Woman on purpose. But soon their swords were upon me, and they, they forced me into this cage meant for dogs. Mother would rip the fur from her chest if she could see how they keep me. Sorry, Careful, sir. Source Hunter. If I keep my eyes off this cage, the beast liable. Careful, Source Hunter. Well then, okay, so, well, not our problem. We've got a mission to deal with, so I guess we're leaving this woman alone. All right, let's go check what's in here. All right, Arturius. We need to talk with, so. What do you think you're doing? Oh, sorry. What have we here, then? A so-called source hunter, eh? Well, look, do what you must in Sysil, but don't make waves don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? Well, someone's a bit antsy. Tell me about yourself. I'm Captain Aureus, if you must know. Leader of the Legion in Sysil. By which I mean I have the enviable task of commanding a battalion of walking dead. For I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into dribbling hordes of their own misshapen number. Alright, let's discuss Jake's murder then. Gods above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother, but he just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians! They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery's afoot! <sighs> Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop, understand? I am in command of this town, not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. 
also investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined. But report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. Uh, I am not in your command, Arius. So the no. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you! Alright, in regards to Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town, down to the crabs on the beach, is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. Alright, how about some additional <sighs> questions? If you must. So your main problem is the undead, it seems. Bravo! Figured that one out, did you? I haven't been stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know. Those brain-feasting freaks out there keep on coming. And it takes all the sword arms and all of our Who's half-baked contraptions to keep them at bay. Keeping them at bay, that is all we do. Were that I could break their backs once and for all. You know, it would serve much better if he had some respect, but he's really not getting on my good side right now. How am I enjoying it? Are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Are you? Sice eels, stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day, the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak. And by now, I wretch at the mere sight of sardines. So in conclusion, I am not enjoying Sysil. Well, somebody's a bit miffed. Alright. What, in your opinion, are the orcs doing on the beach? I'd say they are looking for weak spots in our defenses. They can't make an attack over land for fear of Ahu's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. They won't succeed, though. Not against the Legion. Alright, Arhu tells me he suspects a sect might be at work around Sicile. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat, licking God's knows which body parts. Sects. Sorcerers. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. Alright, tell me about the Legion then. We are the pride of Rivalon, to be found and to be seen everywhere. We don't hide in the dark and lurk in corners like some I could mention. No, we protect the civilized from the barbaric, and we do so impeccably. Right, I'll take my leave now. Well, at the very least we got... ...from the man. Well, as much as I'd like to go through those evidence chests... What's down here? Good day. What? No talking to these scandals, criminal scam. I'm alright. So don't talk to anybody in here, basically. Understandable. Wait, hold on. There isn't even anybody in here, is there? Well, unless there is, and I'm just not seeing them, but... Yeah, I don't see anybody. I'll thank you to take a step in another direction. This is the Legion treasure room. Ah. You have no business bothering with it. Your not-so-sterling reputation happens to precede you. Well, excuse me for being curious. Information tends to be a good thing around here. Well, 
not a good thing, but investigations seem to uh, aggravate some people. Uh, not exactly what I wanted to do, but whatever. Alright, I guess we're speeding through like this. Kinda wish I could just, uh, go click on the map, but I can't, so... Alright, we're aiming for this building here. I'm gonna head on inside. Kinda wish we had a run tactic, but I guess we can't. Not in this circumstance, I guess. Okay, let's go in here. And let's go into the building. Alright, let's talk with the Legionnaire. We've got permission now. Good day to you, sir. King Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus explicit approval. I've spoken with Arius. Let me inside, please. Not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is it? Not really. Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Enjoy. Definitely. Oh. Ow. Ow. What what happened? Is this a dream? I don't think so. Hmm. That stone. Somehow it sent us flying into the stars. Hmm. Interesting. End of space and time, are you mad? Perhaps, my newfound comrade, but that is hardly our chiefest concern. We stand on a tiny vestige of space and time, and the ground is fast shrinking beneath our feet. It's good you appeared, however you did it, precisely when and where you did, or you might have found yourself free floating in empty space. Oh, uh, um, but uh, I suppose I should make a proper introduction. Uh, Six X the historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. All right, what are you doing here then? What am I doing here? Attempting to avert disaster, of course. Attempting to prevent all that is from disappearing. Tell me, friend, when I mentioned that this place is the end of time, did your heart quicken and your stomach drop? If not, they should have. Time ought to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. How can time come to an end? Show, don't tell, I always say. So go, peer through yonder looking lens and feast your soon-to-be-terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. That imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we had better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. Let's appease him, I suppose. Let's see. What chaos is going on? Oh, that's ominous. 
Well then. Look, you saw. Terrifying, isn't What's this? The portal. It's... It's... The portal has become active. Fantastic. Astounding. Onward we should go. The portal. It's quite sprung to life. Just like the long, dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be? You, dear stranger, you must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Those torches, a light! This portal active once more! It cannot be coincidence! Can, can we first discuss what we just witnessed through your looking lens first? Goodness me, how right you are! There's so much to take in, I'd nearly forgotten! And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it! It is the void itself, the dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second, and if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. All right, you believe we are somehow connected to this place. It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen. Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes. The chronicler of time knows a pattern when he sees one. All right, what lies beyond this portal then? Though I cannot say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagued your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... But why spoil the mystery? As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. Okay, through the portal then, I suppose. After you, after you. Oh, what wonders we may find on the other side. I'm going to laugh if he gets left behind. <laughs> first, you first, you first. But don't dilly-dally. Yes! All right. So, Dark Flames just... Open the vases, see if there's anything interesting. Just a few skulls, it seems. Nothing too fantastic. Alright. Oh. Okay. Apparently a weaver of time has come before us. I have the last chest. The last chest. The last chest. 
If you believe yourself worthy of rifling through my ample treasures, I do dare you to prove it. Find my four sisters, no more than one in each of the realms of your wide world, and each by each, you'll discover how to open me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't exactly expecting a talking chest, but I guess there it is. You are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you, so much to ask, so much to say. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? It was a stone, a strange stone that zapped us from where we stood in Rivalon to this place among the stars. It was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is that so? Yes, that's just what happened. Have you seen it before? Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so... Contrary to my nature, to weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. But yours has. You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone, I now know it to be called. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Huh. Source hunters. It would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say. But I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. What is this Starstone exactly? Where does it come from? Starstone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost. Even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Yes, though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the void's ravishment of our realm. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, the Void will consume us all. As much as I'd like to help you, we're Source Hunters from Rivalon. We have a mission that doesn't involve chasing down magical stones. Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble, 
Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. Ah, jeez. For a reason I do not yet understand, you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. But we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. Why, of course! That's what they were doing! I have recorded their doings, you see, collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day. Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. That shall never be. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will put a stop to it. First we mend the tapestry, then we stop the void. Please, our most mysterious guest, are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore what has been lost? I don't really think we have a... I don't know, what do you think? What do you think, buddy? Not but a moment ago we were hunting source in Riverlock, and now we're being told that we alone can prevent the end of time by way of some magical stones. What do you make of it? Oh, well, we can't deny our reaction to Starstone. There must be something well We can't deny our reaction to Starstone. There must be something to all of this, mad as it may seem. Hmm. Still, it's quite a leap. Still, it's quite a leap from finding a strange stone to placing the world's salvation on our shoulders. Yeah. I figured. <laughs> oh well. The glint in your gaze and the set of your brow suggest to me that you've not given up on our dear old Rivalon. Not just yet. No, with you searching out Starstone, I believe we'll mend tapestry in no time we'll find out just who you are and how exactly to send the void back to wherever it came from but you'll need a way to travel between Rivalon and this homestead won't you who wouldn't want to see what fantastic changes your search will yield and who knows what the weaver might discover about you luckily the power of Portals is known to you, so I'll let you in on the little secret of how to transport back and forth from the end of time. I just, you know, don't go sharing it around. Never know who we can trust these days. Yeah, sure. Off you go then. You've Starstone to find, and I've a tapestry to examine. Surely there must be some here as to how on earth you're related to the end of time. The Weaver of Time said our finding Starstone helps her weave the tapestry once more. How is that possible? Cross my heart, hope to fade in the void, I honestly don't know. But ask her. If she claims it is so, perhaps she knows why. Alright, I have some questions for you. Like the imp said to the ballista operator, shoot! If I'm supposed to search for Starstone, it would be handy to know where to start looking. Wouldn't it just? Would that I had a Starstone sightseeing guide, but alas, such a booklet does not exist. Just like yourselves, Starstones are curiously absent from history, both in my writings and on the Tapestry of Time. From what I can gather, though, they were once cherished by devious sorcerers whose reign ended long ago. The stones are therefore most likely to be found in the ancient places of this world. Okay. Ruins, caves, the lairs of long forgotten evils. Those are the dens you should frequent. Two more pieces of advice. Don't go unarmed. And consult with my agent. Okay, sure. <laughs> I still don't understand how the Starstone and the Void Dragon are related, though. Neither do I. But the mere fact that activated Starstone has set the 
fever of time weaving again more than implies that it and the Void Dragon are natural enemies. This in turn more than implies that you are the Void's natural enemy, for it is you who is setting new events in motion. You who is handing the Weaver new threads. And that which she is weaving is more than an ornament to decorate the shelter plane. It is both history and future history. It is all of time. We may not understand the how yet, but our aim is clear. We shall save creation from the grip of the void. Now, isn't that a lovely mission? You say that you're the hemp his or imp historian, but you seem to be more than mere imp, and more than a histor historian. Oh, I don't know if I'm more than those things per se, but having been given a divine mission does have its perks. Old age can't touch me, that's one. Immortality is mine, as long as no one skewers me with a sword, and even then I'll be back in a jiffy. But of course, I have a price to pay for something that is priceless. It is my duty to record all of history, and an arduous task that is. Not to mention how much stress that void out there is causing me. The end of time! I'll be out of a job! So, gather those star stones, so that we may know the history that was lost. Know so that we must not repeat what leads us to this dangerous precipice, but do better and close the dark eye of the void forever. Don't you find it somewhat lonesome being the sole chronicler of time? Lonesome observing the frontier of creation? Surfing the vibrant tide of the eons, always approaching, yet never reaching shore. Lonesome being privy to all that has been, and all that is. Well, yes, actually. I don't mean to complain, but one certainly doesn't mind a bit of company, now and then. Perhaps you can imagine the profound pleasure it is to have made the Weaver's acquaintance after all these years. I can hardly wait to pick her brain about the great battle of the sons of Sigurd. The last Rivalonian who remembers it died more than 7,000 years ago. Alright, I'll take my leave. Before you go, Source Hunter, a final word. Once you return to Rivalon, there will be someone waiting for you. My agent, my eyes and ears upon your world. Okay. I hope he'll be able to help you as much as he can. Time, I need hardly remind you, is of the essence. We can only do so much, Zizax, so calm down. All right. Oh, I see. We have a special rift travel ability. Nice. How welcome you are upon this realm, our most honored guest. I hope you begin to find this place more familiar than it may yet seem. Please tell me about yourself, madam. In the ethereal threads of eternity, do I record the deeds of gods and men, of beasts and spectral apparitions? The drift of continents through changing seas, the rise and fall of empires, the shift of every grain of sand on every beach, the fall of every raindrop on every world, the all but imperceptible touch of lovers' hands, this and all I chronicle without fault. Except, it seems, you. There are more questions I have for you. Ask, and I shall answer, if Who? I can. Who are you, really? I am the Weaver of Time, as I have told you. Though my existence is one that falls behind and yet far exceeds the verb, to be. I am but what I am, and that is task. 
It is the same for the historian. Chroniclers both are we of the epics of eternity. Perhaps we are one and the same. Task multiplied by two. Who has made us? I do not know. Why have they done so? I do not know. Am I the beginning? And am I to be the end? Who shall say? Perhaps I am the first thing in creation. Perhaps I am creation. Perhaps I am the creator. Or maybe it is you. You who makes dying stars rekindle. Time alone will tell. Why is the star zone so important? And why does it react to me and my colleagues alone? Alas, the answers to those questions still elude me. You and Starstone remain the imperfections upon the tapestry. As yet. A hidden answer lies behind this veil of inscrutability, though. For the link between you and the stones reveals that your destinies are intertwined. I believe that star stones will not lead you to new places of wonder only. No. They will also lead to new knowledge through the restoration of the threads of old. This may sound silly, but aren't you lonely out here? <laughs> oh, Hunter. I have no need for company. Like I have no need for air or appetite or affection. All I need and all I am is time. And time is running out unless you remedy its decline. And yet, I do enjoy your companionship, for you may prove to become the cure that will heal my slipping soul. If I understand correctly, I am not at all featured on the canvas of time. Quite so. Your absence. It should be an impossibility, but no matter where I look, you cannot be found. I do not know you, which makes you my one perennial imperfection. A blind spot in the eye of time. But perchance I may be cured of this blindness. Perchance the blemish may be undone, and time can be redeemed. I've heard this place called the End of Time. Just what is it? No more? No less? What it is, is but a seed bereft of sun and water. What it could be, that is what the Star Stones will tell us. What it is, is but the end. What it could be, is the end of ends. I reside in another realm altogether. But ever since the end of time appeared in these deep dark skies, I materialized here, as if forced to watch the one thing that is unwatchable, unendurable. A thankless task that you may yet free me from forever. How can I redeem time if, as you say, I'm not even part of it? I think that perhaps you can redeem time, because you create time. Indeed, you have set in motion an event I no longer held possible. Know that no longer I did weave. I sat here at the end of time and watched on as the void frays the fabric of time like a terrified god that fears the offspring of his own creations. But suddenly there was you. You who stirred the life within the stones. These stones, children of stars, they place new ribbons along my fingers like phantoms out of time. New threads emerged, and I began to weave anew. Starstone gives me new strands to braid into the tapestry. And because you give Starstone energy, it seems that you are creating time. These Starstones, please seek them so that time may yet be mended. Please, for the sake of all that lives and all that loves, seek them so that the void may yet devour itself alone. Alrighty then, I'll take my leave then, to figure out what the heck is going on. Alright, let's get my dude over here. Okay, nothing on that shelf. Send a Steve. Alright, 
Is there having a fun time? All right, I guess we go to the north gate. I think that's where we should go, anyways. All right, there we go. Oh, hello. Source hunters, I welcome you once again to the realm of Rivalon after your travels through the chasms of space. Nice to have found a shelter, wouldn't you agree? Where you can come to no harm. Oh. So the imp historian has told you about his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is I. So now that you know of the alliance between me and Sir Zigzax, let us turn to the business at hand. Starstone. Actually, our business at hand is the murder of Counselor Jake. So it is, and so it should continue to be. For I suspect his foul murder and the plight of dying time are somehow interconnected. Dark webs are being woven around these parts, and it is my firm belief star stones are the flies the sorcerer spiders are trying to catch. It can therefore hardly be a coincidence that Counselor Jake was a collector of the stones we seek. That means the task you have been given remains crucial. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble upon Starstone along the way. That is what I figure. We just sort of cycle through. We, we shouldn't change what we should be doing. We should follow our orders as instructed. How do you find out Jake was a Starstone collector in the first place? While you were being lectured by our friend the Historian and the Grand Dame of Time, I snuck into his house and had a look around. The advantage of being a cat, you know. You go where you please with impunity. And sometimes the lady of the house even rewards you with a slice of fresh herring. That's where I saw them in a cabinet. Mere slivers, but specks of star stones nonetheless. They lay there, silent and innocent. Though bloody murder may have been committed in their name. Why is it so particularly nice for us to have found a shelter somewhere? Don't we all long for a sanctuary where our worldly troubles can be held at bay? A bed or a basket so snug it becomes, in a word, safety. That's literally a house. <laughs> but perhaps I speak only for myself. Not for veterans such as yourselves that by necessity call any patch of ground they rest upon home. Like any cat worth its salt though, I deeply cherish a secret refuge unbeknownst to anyone. To be able to repose without a care is such a precious circumstance. Save it all too seldomly. How did you become Zigzag's agent, anyways? I met him first, a long time ago, out in the wastes of Uthal Gore. He wondered aloud what on earth a cat was doing out there in the scorching desert, then shared what little food and water he had with him. So I told him who I was and showed him my human form. He laughed and marveled and told me stories about his travels. In the end, he even shared his great sorrow with me. The unspeakable thing you saw through his looking lens. I was awed and frightened, but swore to help him in any way I could. As of now, that includes helping the two of you. I wonder, do you put absolute credence in the words of zigzags? Time, void, the looming end? Let me phrase it like zigzags might. A universe without time is like a pen without ink. A pointless instrument stripped of the potential of creation. It is void. It is death. It is... nothing. Alright, hold on. I, I need to pause this for a moment. If you look very closely, you're going to see a small plushie of a cat on this, on Arhu's belt. What the hell? 
This man's weirder and weirder by the second. I'll not pretend to have all the answers. All that I understand, all that is happening here and out there among the stars. But I do know I'd rather err on the side of caution. This man is obsessed with cats. <laughs> if Zigzags worries, I worry. We are talking about a creature, after all, that has reclined among the divines as nonchalantly as you and I lays beside the hearts of home. All right, I'll take my leave then. Oh, before you go, here, take this teleporter pyramid. A handy toy indeed that Zigzags asked me to give to you. Oh. Okay. You'll need the other one too if you want to make use of its powers, but alas, I seem to have misplaced it. Don't worry though. Use this one here and it'll take you straight to its twin. Now that this matter right. has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you no longer. But rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting too. So, if you spot a white cat during your travels, do stop to say hello. Sure. Have you got anything interesting on you? Oh, you've got Pyrokinesis and actually Geomancer spells. Oh, goody. That's actually really good. Hold on. Uh, magical Poison Darts. Petrifying Touch. That's Earth Damage. Uh, Midnight Oil Skill Book. Fortifying Spell. 45 status for 5 turns, uh... Uh, it grants plus 20 armor rating. Nice. Boulder Bash is just an explosion of a boulder. Earth Absorption. Uh, Immunity to pet Petrification. That's not bad. Uh, that's a 6 level spill s skill, though. Alright. We are going to grab the Magical... Or Midnight Oil book. We'll grab the Magical Poison Dart book. And we should grab the Fortify book. All three are uh, three levels, unfortunately, so we will have to address that. Uh, do we actually have enough? I don't think we do. So I think we just go for the Midnight Oil. Because we do have the gold for that. As for what we give him, we're going to give him 300 gold. That is going to improve his, uh, opinion of me. Well, we'll go 304. Why not? There we go. That'll improve his rep with us. Alright, we've got a teleporter pyramid. And let us learn the skill for Geomancy, the Midnight Oil. That is going to give us a new spell to work with. And it will create an oily surface, which is really good for us. We'll get the summon spell here. We'll have, uh... We'll keep Staff of Magnus there. And now, let's go back to that room, because we do need to investigate the room still. Oh, wait, hold on. I think that's where the pyramid is. Hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Maybe I just quietly go over here. Uh, that is a high HP door, so we won't be getting that. Alright, well, I guess we use the pyramid and see what happens. Boom. Oh my gods! What is going on here? Oh! First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Hmm. All right, hold on. Uh, there's Intimidate, Charm, and Reason. I do believe it really depends on what... Uh... Hold on, I need, I need to check, because I'm pretty sure it's very specific what skill check's going to be better. So, one sec. Uh, 
All right. All right, let's see. Um, bu -bu -bum, nothing really good here. Uh, okay, it affects starting out tudes of people. Sorry, milady. I came by way of a magical pyramid, and I didn't know where I would end up. Alright, win a series of rock, paper, scissors matches to convince the other party. Put points into charisma to gain an advantage. Well, I've got charisma, so there we go. Press space to skip RPS. Okay. Uh, I have a low reason, she has a high reason. Great. Rock? Oh, there we go. Uh, I guess... Scissors? There we go. <laughs> How did I do that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, rock. Nope. Alright, she gets it that time. And I guess rock again? Nope. Rip. Alright, she wins it. A magical pyramid, eh? Frivolous and lecherous magic, more like. Leave my house. Before the divines punish you for your aberrant ways. Well. Well, sure. I'll leave. Okay. All right, fine. Let me just grab the pyramid then. Jeez. I got my eyes on the prize. See ya. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> well, whatever. I got. I got. <laughs> I got it. Ah, God. We're gonna have to talk with him at some point because of that. But I digress. All right, let's go back to the house because that's where our investigation did ultimately begin. So we're going to start there, investigate properly, and why is there chickens and a cat? Why is there chickens in there? That's a good question. Uh, okay. Alright, there's a person named Anna. I guess we'll talk with them. What have we here? A source hunter, is it? Well, my day just became rather more stimulating. Oh, stand still then, if you don't mind. I want to take a good long look at the so-called savior of Sicile. Sorry, what? Tall as an elf, strong as an orc, but your face, quite classical, isn't it? Statuesque, some might say. Yes, smooth and sturdy as marble, yet fine as a chisel's edge. Right. Oh, my word, what passion burns from your eyes. Please forgive my being forward, but I... I dare say, can it be? You're... Well, you're exactly the person I've been searching for. You've been searching for someone? That I have. For nearly a lifetime, it seems. Well, I'm sure you must know what I mean. Like existence itself lacked a significant component. Like if you could only fill a certain void, could connect with the right body, the right spirit. Together you could uncover new and thrilling vistas. I believe I have found that component, that body, that spirit within you, Source Hunter. Come, if ever we are to be united. We must truly entwine our fates. 
We must link our causes forevermore. Yes, you must join the Fabulous Five right away, as soon as time permits. Together, as a team, we'll explore the boundless realm before us. We'll uncover fate, inch by inch. How about no? <laughs> Alright, about the Fabulous yes. Five. I am part of that band of valiant heroes. And ever there must I remain. But you, my match, my soul's twin, may tie our fates together by similarly fighting under the banner of the Fabulous Five. I'll pass. You must speak with Mendius. He stands right outside this very tavern, and he alone can bring you into our illustrious fold. Then, my equal, friend of my body and mind, may we unite. All right. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? I am Anna, jewel in the crown that is the fabulous five. Sure. I've cut a thousand throats and baked a thousand bread rolls, stolen the crown jewels of the Queen of Arata, and with my pockets full, helped her reach enlightenment. These guys are level two. Sure. When the day comes that I die, the gods will evacuate the heavens to make space for my formidable collection of designer slippers. I contain multitudes, you see, and I am utterly replete. Except that, much to my dismay, I had as yet to find the companion to whom my heart so clearly calls. But then, Source Hunter, you wandered into this tavern, and I... Oh, I am most certain that that companion is you. No, I'll take my leave. Thank you very much. Y you have a good... All right, let's actually check that room now. Greetings, Source Hunter. Are Let me inside, please. Ready to have another look? Yeah, thank you. Hopefully this time without the worry of sourcing. Pillows. All right, there appears to be a bed. Uh, let's pick it up. All right, let's pick it open. Oh, we can't actually, it's... All right, lock level one. Okay, so we need an actual lock pick. So we're gonna have to unlock, uh, we're gonna have to get lock picking for our uh, roster. I guess we'll take the painting of a rooster while we're at it. I'm sure somebody is going to love that. But it seems like, from the looks of it, something... Alright, well, it was a massive murder here, so let's see. Lots of blood, some mirrors... Yeah, it looks like something of a battleground happened, and I don't think the person that we... Uh, I don't think that girl's a caster of any type with explosion magic. It looks like a fireball spell went in, off in that room. That or something necromatic, but it's hard to say without knowing the spells. It's very clear that oil and uh, fire weren't mixed in because of the explosion, though. Okay. Alright, let's check our... Uh... Alright, open all, collapse all. Alright, let's see, where's our... Do we have a quest journal? No, we don't have a quest journal, do we? Well, do we? I'm not sure. Alright, I guess we open the lock here. Alright, we got the teleporter pyramids. Talking statues. We learned from a diary of a dead man that he jumped off a cliff. Okay. Uh, into the dark. Arhu told us there are more orcs to be found on the western beach. 
Alright. Let us talk with the sailors next. Because I do believe that will complete one of our quests. Hey, no one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I, uh, borrowed one of these fish, would you? Borrow, indeed. I'll sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid. Come now, I'll be good for it, I swear! Alright. Tell me about yourself. Oh, my story's tired by now. I was a happy enough, a prosperous enough, before these lean times around Sicil began. Still, that doesn't waive a man's need to eat, you know. Are you in the habit of stealing? I never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times. But what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve, I'll choose steal. This is gonna get interesting. So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? Let's see. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomatoes. That merchant has to eat too, you know. Eat the fish alone. That merchant has to eat too, you know. Leave the fish alone. Yes, you... Yes, you know what they say about giving a man a fish? This man should learn to stand on his own two feet. <sighs> I suppose you've got a point. Another day, another rumbling belly. Yeah, well, to be fair, you could just work for your efforts. Oh, there's a sheep. Hello. Okay, sheep. Sheep. Cow. I've spotted something interesting. Oh. Something interesting? Oh. Let's go in, close that. The earth here seems to have been freshly fertilized and aerated. Obviously, someone has taken great care to maintain this gravesite. Are you sure you want to disturb it? No, that would be an insult to the dead. No, that would be an insult to the dead. And a disgrace to whomever is maintaining this gravesite, too. You step away from the grave. Yeah, let, let's not disturb the grave. There's no need to do that. We can just steal from barrels. <laughs> not exactly the most morally sensible, but that's fine. Okay. Anything else? Not really. Alright, we'll leave you out. Go from there. We don't need to milk the cow as well. Alright, let's talk with the sheep, I guess. Nope. Kinda wish I could uh, do some more, but yeah, it's fine. Alright, let's check these boxes. Reginald Spare Key. Interesting. Alright, well. I think this is as much as we're gonna get for today. Yeah, that's as much as we're gonna get for today, I think. We did quite a bit, though. We managed to start off our adventure, we managed to go through a tutorial dungeon, got some combat in, and we learned that we are potentially heroes, or at least the invocations of some for these star stones. But I digress. I think we're going to call it here. I'm pretty much done, so yeah, we're probably going to wrap it up here. For those of you on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification if you want to see my stuff. I stream daily, so if you want to catch my streams, you can catch me 3 to 7, MST time. And if you want to catch my streams, you can either search me up at FYMyPawn at Twitch.com. Alternatively, you can search up my main channel page, as there should be a link for Twitch there. Or, you can go down into the link below in the description, and you can find my Twitch link down there. For those of you on Twitch, or those of you from YouTube coming to Twitch, followers are always appreciated. The more followers I have, the more content I give you guys. Once I hit the bottom left corner's worth of followers, which is about 50, it should be set there, and I get three concurrent viewers, you know, every stream, 
then I should, in theory, be able to give you guys more content once I reach affiliate status. Which is the main goal, for now, that is. But yeah, once I reach that goal, I'll be able to give you guys more stuff and more things to do. Probably some things with bits, or whatever else I can think up of. But, I digress. For those of you looking for more content, you can go to YouTube, which should be down below if you scroll down a bit in the Twitch URL. From YouTube, you guys know where that is already. Uh, but for those of you guys on Twitch, you can either search me up at FYIPawn at YouTube.com. Alternatively, you can check me out via the link below of the stream, which should be that red YouTube button. should be too hard to find. It's fairly self-explanatory. But I digress. If you want to see my older content or all my content that I've done, go to YouTube. It has all of its uh, various categories there, so if you're looking for something specific, it's there. Did a bit of editing, threw down some stuff, so you got plenty of content to look through. If you're looking for my more new stuff, you can check my, uh, well, you can check me out on Twitch. There's a few categories there, but it's usually seven days worth of material, so just pick and choose what you like and you should be good. But I digress. I've ranted on for long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I'll see you guys next stream. Take care, everyone, and have a good day.